Then this ebony chaos, beguiling my sad fancy into smiling, by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, art sure no craven. Ghastly grim, an ancient chaos, wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's Plutonian shore. Quote the chaos, nevermore. Hello, fine people of chat! Welcome back to Sunday Non-Chaos, where there is an absolute 0% chance of sour gas and chaos. If you are here for the sour gas show, it's actually one door down, you're in the wrong place, there's no sour gas, I'm sorry to disappoint. Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Yes, I'm still getting the music set up because I don't, I don't know. Oh, but there it is. Welcome back and happy, happy Sunday. A beginning of the week chaos stream just for you. Welcome, everybody. Thorkel. In with a hundred bits says chaos time. One door down, Thorkel. Zimmy99 in with the prime for 16 months. Thank you, Zimmy. Ellie O'Nelly, aka Ellie on Ellie. <laughs> oh, 11 months. Almost coming up on a year of amazing chaos. Thank you all for the joy, but not enough sour gas. Yeah, you've got me confused with some other stream. I am a professional. Uh, we don't actually have sour gas here. Uh, we used to in the old days, but then they ran out of sour gas. I've tried to reorder it. There's no sour gas to go along. I, I'm sorry. I, I just... Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do about it. And then Timo in with the 11 months at the beginning of the stream. Thank you, Timo, and welcome back. Rykar with the 500 bits. Oh, that reminds me of an old school Nintendo game. I think it was called Rygar. Oh man, I I got so frustratingly stuck in that game because it was back in the CRT, like the old school TVs. And it had a part in one of the beginning stages where you had to get out, but you did it by running through a wall area. But if your TV wasn't a specific type of TV, you couldn't see the opening. Just never saw the opening. Sat there and replayed that thing so many times trying to figure out what I was doing wrong. Yep, Rygar. Dwarf Gecko. Dwarf Gecko in with the Prime for three months. But Rygar, thank you again with the 500 bits. I appreciate you both. Three months for Dwarf Gecko. Wait, I'm sexy in with a hundred bits. Thank you for those sexy bits. Amy says, my beard is looking magnificent today. I'm actually having a bad beard day. Yeah, it's a bad beard day because I don't like flyaways. I don't like flyaways and my beard tends to get a lot of flyaways. And I feel like I have more flyaways than normal. Dex3D, leader of the Council of Meebs, in with a hundred bits and an all aboard. This is your last call. <laughs> lady Anime Yuki, in with the 50 bits. Thank you very much, lady. How did I ever um, even figure it out? I eventually, um, it's either I played on a different TV or I just... I was running across all the walls. Like when desperation hits in and three months later, I was literally running across um, beside the walls of every single level. And then my person just slipped through. And it's like, oh, this is the rest of the game. Pyroy said, dude, don't complain. You can grow a beard and I can't. I'm sorry, Pyroy. It's not a complaining. I was not complaining. I was only sharing with you my my flyaways. I do like my beard. Um, I have a couple of weird little spots in it. 
you know, but eh, it's a work in progress. Slurms, big slurms in with the prime four months for slurms. Thank you very much. And then Doff87 with the 16 months, also a leader in the Council of Meeps. Said back when saving your progress was writing down the code. Oh, I don't remember what the save. I don't even know if it had a save. I'll bet you somebody right now has it on emulation. Yeah, it's one of the few. It's one of the cartridges I do not own. That one day I will. <clears throat> Ellie says we're in escrow for a condo we really like. Got to do the home inspection right now. Good luck, Ellie. That is awesome. Is it just me? Do I do I have a little tickle in my throat? I feel like there's something in there. Like it's making my voice sound different. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? <clears throat> I don't know. Sorio Blackfeather says, I too have beard envy. The men in my fam can't grow them and all I can manage is sad teenager fuzz. Yeah, that would make me sad as well. Because the entire time I was um, in the service, I was not allowed to grow one, right? And I used to look around at beards like one day, one day. Valkyrie says, is that a coca? I'm sorry, before EQs come out of the, the booth and yell at me. Um, is that a quoka on your mic? Yes, it is. This is chaos, the quoka. <laughs> chaos spelled with a Q, of course. <laughs> Codes man says, I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. Absolute says, for anybody who can't grow a beard, research minoxidil. I have seen that um, because I thought about taking more minoxidil just to make it come in thicker. I decided against it and just to be happy for what I have. But um, there is a lot of, I guess, research or not necessarily research, but happy results with it. <laughs> Defillion said, showed up to the pub for the first time in a long time, a few months. The first words I was greeted with is, of course you can grow a full beard in exactly one of those tones of voice. <laughs> oh. Absolute says, I tried and it helped with my pat with the patches. That's awesome. How long did you have to take before you saw the res results, Absolute? Big Frosty, 05, in with a two months. I appreciate the two months, Big Frosty. Welcome back. Burglar720 in with the 11 months is finally catching a live stream in a few weeks. Good stuff, Burglar. I appreciate that prime. Rob Roy says, is it your uvula? I, I don't, maybe. Wait, I'm sexy says, you may be feeling allergies. Absolute tickle in the throat, twinkle in the eye. That's just a Sunday. I feel it in here. Now Rob Roy has got me thinking about my uvula. You know what I need? More cowbell and a sip of parody, uh, a sip of tea. But do not fear, we also have the Perrier on standby. Unfocused in with the 14 months. Says, wow, 14 months, where's the time gone? I know it. I know it. Thank you very much, Unfocused. <laughs> he can pronounce uvula, but not quokka. I am doing good at pronouncing quokka. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm very proud of myself for the gains I've made in my quokka pronunciations. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute said they did it for one to two months, but apparently six months is the average for really visible results. I am happy with the results, so I won't be doing more. 
Hmm. That's good stuff. Jelly, Jelly in with the prime. 12 months. Happy Echoversary, Jelly. And welcome back. Ace with the prime says, love the YouTube content. Keep keeping on. Two months for Ace. I appreciate you very much. If anybody else has a an Ace hardware in their area and always hears the commercials, Ace is the place. Da, 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 da. That's what I think of when I read Ace's name. Jimmy T time in with the 100 bits. Thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate you. Raven Storm Frost says, every time you mention a tickle in your throat, I cough. <laughs> you have sympathetic coughing syndrome. It's SES. It's all the rage now. Kind of Numis with 50 bits says, are you, are you okay with going through the temporal terror? I, do you mean me personally or me sending duplicates through the temporal terror? Sorio Blackfeather says it's Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Yeah, I, I lose it after Ace is the place. Is SES like yawning? No, it's SCS. Sympathetic coughing syndrome. <laughs> oh, Grant Theorem in with the prime for 15 months. Thank you, Grant Theorem. Uh, send me, send me through the temporal tear in their chaos seed. I'm down with it, kind of noobish. Absolutes this damn any company that makes a really catchy jingles and ad. No doubt. Oh, but nothing's worse. Nothing. Absolutely nothing's worse than ba 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 ba. <laughs> Acanthios with a 10 gifted sub bomb. Thank you very much, Acanthios. I really appreciate it. Happy Sunday to you. Oh, this is kind of Nubish's first time sending someone through the Temporal Terror. Congrats to kind of Nubish. Way to pass another milestone in your Ani journey. Very cool. Very, very cool. Acanthius, thank you again for this, the gifted sub bomb. Wait, I'm sexy says Hulu will play the same ad like 40 times in a few episodes. Oh, streaming ads are the worst because of that. So during football season, I get um, sling. And so when, if I'm watching a game on say ESPN, and it goes to commercial. Well, Sling sends everybody else to commercial too for people watching Sling. Everybody on ESPN is getting cool, fun ads. On Sling, I'm seeing the same three ads for the next two hours. Oh, it's horrible. Doth87 says it's Neon Cotton Candy. Neon Cotton Candy Land. That's a throwback. I believe that's the reference Doth is making when we invited all the duplicates to go to Neon Cotton Candy Land. <laughs> oh. Dravy says nothing worse than a McDonald's jingle. By Menon. <laughs> no, I still think the McDonald's jingle is worse. It's the earworm that you don't want to have, right? I know a lot of earworms are like annoying and they just stay in your, get stuck in your head, but I don't want to support McDonald's even in my brain cycles. I heart radios, terrible repeat ad says Dex. Oh, Meg says YouTube TV is a bit better. Paramount showed the normal ads, at least for the Super Bowl.
Yeah, I didn't even think we had too many good Super Bowl ads this year either. There were a couple, but back in the day, it used to be just hit play on the Super Bowl ads, and it was just hilarious. Absolute says in Europe, there's a brand called Calgon. It's notorious for the jingle at the end of every ad. Fun fact, Absolute. Calgon used to be built um, big here as well. If it's the same Calgon. And it was, it's like a, something you put in your bath water. It was, I remember it from a long time ago. And it's something about Calgon take me away or, yep, Queen says it's Calgon take me away. Absolute says it's a washing machine? Yeah, no, this is a different Calgon then. Leaf says washing machines live longer with Calgon. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Somebody, if you're curious, Google Calgon um, Europe and then do Calgon United States. Two completely different products. <laughs> Absolute says that's the one. It's horrific. <laughs> Defillion says, I wonder how many people remember the Nokia jingle. I do not off the top of my head. Nokia. What did Nokia even have ads for? Big Frosty with the big kind words says, I've been watching YouTube content for a long time now, and I've just recently started to catch the occasional Twitch stream. Your videos have taught me so much about the game and helped me get so much further in the game and get so much more enjoyment out of the game. Thank you for all you do and all your hard work making this content. Thank you. And I can't wait for my shirt and coffee mug to come in. Have a great stream. Thank you, Big Frosty. And I hope you enjoy the merch. Thank you very much. <laughs> Absolute says, I don't know the Nokia jingle, but we all know the ringtone. <laughs> yes, we do. I think we all had a Nokia back in the day. Defillion says, the old 8810, those things were indestructible. I actually know a guy who did stage rigging, dropped one 50 feet from a, li from a lighting rig. Phone was fine. Stage had a dent in it. <laughs> Thank you all for the hype train. I really, really appreciate it. We hit 21 gifted subs and 1,700 bits. Creeper, good luck with the chemistry exam. I hope you rock it out. I appreciate you stopping by as well, but yeah, definitely 100% always take care of responsibilities. Did we get a B? What did we get? I received a level four hype. Oh no, we got some, some funky little dude. 2020 pajamas. That's not fun. What am I going to do with 2020 pajamas? <laughs> Absolute says... If we just ever get into an intergalactic battle, we just send all the old Nokias into space to wreak havoc. Planets will fall. <laughs> a retro pajama party? Maybe. But I don't know. There's no other pajamas. Everybody have to wear the same jammy jams. 
You can't wear the same jammy jams to the jammy party. <laughs> Pyroy says, 2020 called. They want their pajamas back. <laughs> oh. oh. All right. Are we about ready? We got a great stream coming at you today. Uh, we have... Ooh. I think we have two predictions today. Yay! We got a few hours of some auction not included with our big mega base. So that's a good time. And uh, and we have a wonderful roll call coming up. Um, and we've started a new tradition. You don't have to participate. But for the roll call, for those of you who didn't know, uh, we do the roll call to say thank you to everybody for showing up and spending a little bit of their most valuable resource, which is their time. Um, and so in order to do that, everybody says something in chat, anything, and then their name appear on my list. And then I, you know, I do a roll call for them. But what we've been doing is if you want, you can say the last game that you've played today. Not today, but in today's roll call, just put in the last game that you've played. It's sort of a fun way to theme out the roll call. I don't know if we'll do the last game that you've played every single time, but we'll announce what we're gonna say. Cause it's interesting. Oh, somebody's playing, uh, we are playing Geometry Dash, Thorkel, Helldivers 2. I see some Project Zomb, oh, Dex. Dex, it still has you? Dex is still with the Project Zomboid bug. Hero Siege? Queen, I do not know of this Hero Siege. Hero Siege. Oh, it looks like an old school Diablo clone. First time chatter, clearly a noob in with the uh, enshrouded. By the way, clearly a noob sometime yesterday. Let me scroll all the way back up. I meant to mention it. It was just so far away. Yeah, 19 hours ago, while I was probably somewhere in dinner or something, clearly a noob came in with a Twitch Prime and the follow. So thank you to clearly a noob. I appreciate you. Lady Whispering, also a first time chatter, in with the World of Warcraft. YouTube roulette. I ended up landing on Friday's VOD. <laughs> Bushman Glenn, you were not playing Leisure Suit Larry and Land of the Lounge Lizards. Those were not games you were playing because they were, those are 30 years old. There's no way. They are definitely classics. Leave it to Glenn to pull out the classics. Maybe next time we'll do um, best classic game or something. <laughs> All right, let's get to this wonderful roll call. And we'll start it off today with the wonderful Abaton. Happy Sunday. Absolute three, Acanthios, A King Draws, Alex, Amy from Earth, Big Frosty 05, Bergetta, Bushman Glenn, Cedar Sieve, Chippy502, Clearly a Noob, Coachman9000, Crystal Boys, Custos, Dephelion, Dead, Deadly Wicket, Deadly, Deadly Wicket, there it is, Dex3D and Doff87, both leaders in the Council of Meeps, Dravey81, 
Dr. Dangerous, Dwarf Gecko, Fanta Green, as opposed to the Fanta Orange. Is there a Fanta Green? Forever Lost in Oz, Fader Lynn, Icho Trollot, Jalfader, Kathora, Kind Anubis 85, Lady Whispering, Lady Anime Yuki, Leaf, Lolander Falasian. Lolander Falasian. That's as close as I'm getting to that one. <laughs> Lug 22, Manduin Branford, Megs Live, Minu Zeta, Puzzlina, Pyroid Maniac, Queen Galero, Raven Stormfrost, Level 8 Druid, Rob Roy, 865, Rykar, 01, Silver Fox, 342, Shadow Wolf, Slicky Jeb, Slurms, Sorio Black Feather, Level 8 Pyromancer. It's a thing. Stream Elements, the bot. That guy there, the cocky chick, Thorkel, unfocused, Valkyrie, wait, I'm sexy. We is our Wikipedia Zimmy 99 and Zoldan or Lama. So I really need to know that. Is there a Fanta Green? I'm scrolling up through chat now. Nobody answered me. There is a Fanta apple and melon. The queen says it's, um, they're green and light green, respectively. Wow. I never knew that. I've only ever think, I think I've only seen Fanta orange. There must be areas in the United States where they're more popular. <laughs> Raven storm frost as I've gone up two levels. And I realized a couple of weeks ago, I started somewhere I think I started with Soriel Blackfeather, but Raven Stormfrost is also a D&D name. So now they both get the level. Amy says, I don't know what it is, but strawberry drinks give me the ick. Yeah, it's because they never taste natural. It's like, yeah, this never had anything to do with a, uh, with an actual strawberry. Oh, I do remember the Grape Fanta. Of course, I don't think I've seen it in a long time. Edwiep. I think it's Edwiep. First time chatter watching from Spain. First time live. Hello, all. Hello. And welcome. Live action pixel. How's it going, Nick? Sorry, Black Feather says, I enjoy the variety of levels and classes I get every week. <laughs> oh. Absolute says, I don't know about Fanta Green, but did anyone ever have a Pepsi Blue? It was one year in my childhood for Christmas. I loved it, but never saw it again. Pepsi Blue? I don't remember Pepsi Blue. Ticking along, just got some food. Hope stream's going well so far. Of course. I hope you, en you enjoy your foods. How many strawberries does it take to make a juice? That's the thing. They never make it out of the strawberries. It's always some weird artificial yuck yuck. I don't know. I don't know who got that idea. At least in Europe, they used more natural flavors and less sugar and things. I don't know why we have to be so... Uh, mm. Like I've heard the macaroni and cheese, the Kraft macaroni and cheese is a different color. Why? That means our Kraft Mac has some crap in it that we're not supposed to be eating. And I love my Kraft macaroni and cheese, right? Don't know. It has orange dye. The Haunted says in Europe, we like to eat healthy. I know, I don't get it. Why? Well, I do get it. 
It's called lobbyists and money, but you know, it's a whole thing. Um, yeah, let's get to this. Uh, where are we? We are not in the farm. That's what I was playing last. Recording videos, you know? My other, other job. Let's pump up the jams there. Load this. In the Merce Prince. Where are we? Cycle 872 already? I feel like we haven't done enough. The lady says videos with audio. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yep, there goes chat. Recording with the sound? Is your mic on? <laughs> I know. The feeling of absolute, like, defeat that runs through my body when I realize it. I'm like, oh. For those of you who missed it on Wednesday, though, look at our... We got some nice base renovations. Awesome little nature reserve here. We got some hot tub action. Nineteen oh eight says I missed a few streams, but I saw your vods and realized two things. Seems like there's some PO two in the steam room near the hot tub. And also, last you live, you asked about the thermometer in the hot tub. Maybe they show the temperature of the building, not the water. That could be. Oh, what's this one? No, because this hot tub is 21 degrees. This one's 22, but this thermometer is higher. I think it's the water inside of it. Because this water is 52 degrees. This water is 46. Yep. Definitely the water. And is there polluted oxygen in here? Probably. We've had a couple of... Yep. There's the shame right there. 1,400 grams. It's living there forever now. Space today or maybe a second planet? I don't know. We got to have a discussion, don't we? I was also thinking it's... I mean, because we have infinite power now. Infinite-ish. Oh, look at all this natty gas. It's finally taking over. We got a little bit of polluted oxygen up here, but it'll crush that too. Oh, this is beautiful. We've kind of self-filtered it out, basically. What is it in here? Liquid carbon dioxide at minus 55. Um, so one thing I do have to, I have to start making oil vents or I'm going to have to eventually in our farm series. And I'm trying to figure out a design to independently cool each one. So yeah, I've got that going for me. And why haven't we killed these things? What it's probably going to be is its own cooling loop that just runs right through them. Slicky Jeb, welcome back. Says Echo is playing at snail speed. Are you not feeling well, Echo? No, I'm feeling fine. I am just, we're still, uh, we're still trying to figure out what we're doing today. So before we discover something like, oh no, the duplicates don't have any food. You know, we, we start off slow. Stream Elements, the bot. Welcome back, Sulfur. Uh, they have a nice pandiculate and a drink for us. I appreciate you. Oh. Oh. Cheers to you. Why do you want to cool it? Because if you do not cool these things, um, the oil will get hotter and hotter. So see the natural gas in here too? It's more heat. It'll end up turning this water that's left into it into steam when they do the vent release. Yeah, it's a whole thing. What did we do here? Why were, why didn't we finish this up? This seems very odd. I guess we're still working on it. Let's leave that little cute guy in there, too. Hmm. 
we'll see how it goes. Boop, boop. So I thought about doing some digging. We've already, we have power. We finally, I think we finally fixed this situation here. We're up to 63 kilos worth of steam pressure. Why is this shut? I thought we fixed this. I'm confused. What did I do? I've done something wrong. Free the orchid. Dex says the polluted oxygen will never get crushed with the pumps unless you shut down the oil wells. Why do you say that? Oh, to stop making natural gas. What I mean is we're going to get so much natural gas pressure in here. Eventually, the polluted oxygen is going to be in like one or two tiles. And then we can just go put a tile over it. Uh, what happened? Let me try flipping it on. Uh, you know what it is? It's this. It's because there's no nothing in here to crush. It's all steam up to this point. But if I reset the timer, it will work. Maybe. What can I say except you're welcome? There it goes. See, it lets all the carbon dioxide in. And three, two. No, it'll go for 60 seconds. So it's going to let all the carbon dioxide and everything else in. Then it'll crush it. Look at all them chickens. <laughs> You disabled the crusher because you had not enough steam. Yeah, but we reset it at the um, end of last stream. Now, why is it turning on? It's still killing carbon dioxide, so I don't mind it, but I'm... All right, if it's not steam, it's going to go through this side. This is, it has to be above 20 kilos. It's got like an emergency. Oh, it's because, wow, that's, I didn't realize that. It actually can go through two cycles in the point one of a cycle. That's why it was still going. Can I make that a point zero five? I don't know if you can go that far out. Oh, you can go 0 0.05. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Remember, there's two separate autom... Not separate, but there's two automation systems here at play. The long and short of it is most of the automation is here to open all the doors, then shut the first one, which traps all the gas, and then the rest of the doors shut to destroy the gas. This whole separate side of the system... Um... And it does that off of a timer if there isn't this timer, if there is not steam in this tile. This one here is to destroy steam. That way we don't get too much um, steam pressure in here. But right now we don't have to worry about that. But we finally, I believe finally, we have enough steam pressure so we don't have to worry about the heat coming off the volcanoes. It is set for cycle mode versus second mode. Yeah, we weren't having it. Um, yeah, it's on cycles. Which is because we only want it to run for 5% of a cycle every 10 cycles. Iger says, too much steam pressure. Me looking at my box of 1,774 kilo pressure in almost a 2K tile hot room, um, which is fine but it would stop these volcanoes from erupting and we need the igneous rock. 
That's why this whole system exists. All right. That's good. What were we going to do here? We have plans for this later, too. Cyborg! Welcome back. Time to pay the three parking ticks? Wait, I'm sexy. Three parking tickets? Why didn't you learn your lesson after the first parking ticket? Kurthora says, that's an interesting way to get rid of steam pressure. I usually tie an Atmos sensor to a shutoff valve to a steam turbine water return. We've done that too. Um, in fact, we did that up here. <laughs> right through here. But when I built this thing, I did not build it with a, a water chiller in it. And the fact that we have a lot of water on this planet to it already. So we're like, hey, let's try something different. Plus, this is a dirty brick. The... The other reason why this is in here is because we create carbon dioxide in here. So we want to be able to destroy that carbon dioxide. That's the reason the door of a system exists first. It's just only this part of the system is used to keep the steam pressure under, under control. Amy says I'm having hummus and baby carrots. It's a real lunch, right? Hummus and baby carrots is not bad. Oh, I got it. Dex was answering a question for uh, Weazar. All right, so we have power. We have igneous rock. Oh, maybe it's time to... All right, so what we're going to do today, we're going to tame some of these metal volcanoes. We're going to... And then start digging out everything. Everything. So we need to, um, which means we need to put in our spaceport sort of system thing. <laughs> Wait, I'm sexy, sis, because I'd rather pay a $25 ticket than pay $1.75 for a half an hour when I'm going to be there for 10 minutes. <laughs> Hi, Nola says, I started my first ever Dirty Brick uh, yesterday night, and I handled the CO2 with 90 or so Slickster. Slickster is another way to do it. Um, I didn't have a lot of room in here. Plus, uh, we're doing okay on oil, but if this planetoid didn't really have oil, I would consider doing Slickster's. I've done Slickster's in the Dirty Brick before. I've also taken the carbon dioxide from the Dirty Brick and pumped it to a Slickster farm. That was one of my old series. I don't even know what the name of it is. Somebody I'm sure here does. All right, we have to be careful of the heat spots. <laughs> Amy says, pushes intercom. Mr. Echo, there's a representative from the RSPA. They're upset about a recent statement that was made, but PR doesn't have any record of that statement. <laughs> Oh, it's the Royal Society for, for the Preservation of um, Abyssalite. Unfortunately, the RSPA is not a fully funded lobbyist group. So we are smitten and contractually obliged to the RSSA. <laughs> All right, where do we even start? We have this asteroid, this is aluminum, or that volcano. We also have this one, which is aluminum, which I'm good on the aluminum, but you know. We'll get to it when we get to it. I think we'll start down here with the strip mining. Sure, buddy. Sure, buddy. Oh, uh, but there is all this wonderful uranium. I don't want to get in there. See, this is the trepidation I always have. What do I do? What is the RSSA? 
It's the Royal Mining for Stri the Royal Society for the Strip Mining of Asteroids. Cybernetic Overlord says, I mean, do we really have to worry about the hotspots? What if we just let the thermal equilibrium gods take hold of the situation? What could possibly go wrong? Well, unfortunately, when you mix a thousand degrees with 30 degrees, I wouldn't necessarily call the equilibrium a good point. That is bad. Uh, let's start off in here. Let's just go get this mopped up. Yes. We have 30 something dupes, so this shouldn't be too bad. Not enough materials. My butt. Yep. And there's the heat there. Something like this. Oh. It's going to keep picking sandstone forever, and I'm going to keep building things out of sandstone. And it's going to make me angry. Why is this so... Why is this six tiles? Oh, we finally get rid of this, too. This is something else. We got to fix our power spine thing. I don't love this, but, you know, what are we going to do? How did that layer of natural gas get there? Uh, I don't... I don't... I don't know. Amy, can we put out a statement about the natural gas and its um, unknown origins? Thank you. <laughs> we do have all of our things here. So let's find out where these are going. All right, I have one here. This is going to be impossible to get that many wires through. Impossible. How about I just leave them there for now? How's that? <laughs> Official statement. There was no natural gas. It's a figment of your imagination. I like it. Amy, give yourself a raise. All right, let's get rid of this, 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 this. Not there because I probably just deconstructed an entire pipe or something. Buildings. Must have been a dupe with some beans for lunch. <laughs> All right, this can go. What is this serving? What in the world? Look at this, chat. Look at this wonk. This power transformer and this power transformer are on the same line. What in the world did I do? All that can go away. This is why I don't, I don't like these power... I like the... Perfect power grid is the... Entire heavy walk conduit going all the way down here. One up on this side. And then you just spread them out. But it's so hard to get that sort of situation going. Especially in mid-game. You sort of gotta wait. Alright, let's get rid of this now. I can get rid of this transformer. What are you doing? You are picking up carbon dioxide. Why? Why do we even need to do that? You can go away too. What are you doing? Are you working? What is going on here? Alright, water comes in. Goes out. 
Oh, it's because we were still cleaning up this mess. Which is now pretty much cleaned up, right? So I can get rid of all of this, too. Whee! Clean up! Clean up! Yes, we Azar, I'm sure somewhere you've already put save the Paku. Without even knowing, I'm sure you've said that. Oh, not again. This silly bug. I like my Transformers in the Steam Room, says Boxwalk World. Yeah, we were trying to do it. We just don't have enough room right now. I'm working on it, though. All right, so that's good there. And since you were just cleaning... Uh oh no, 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 no. You were just cleaning polluted water here. So all this can go away as well. Because now it's just salt water. Boop. Right? Nothing else? Yeah. Boop. Do any other states have free college? I go to school in New Mexico, says, wait, I'm sexy. Um, a lot of states have different sort of programs. Like in South Carolina, uh, if you do decently well in high school, you'll get two years of community or technical college or whatever you want. Uh oh, we already have a trap tube. How did you get stuck? Oh. Okay, well, that's awkward. I wasn't trying to do this. Cornflake 34 with the follow. All right, so... All right, we're finally getting all this mopped up. This is all part of the cleaning of the asteroid. Look at all this material we're getting back too. And that can go. Perfect-ish. What's your number one tip for early metal refinement? Um, first time chatter, Cornflake with a question. I'm trying to think. Probably find a nice cold biome like this that has some melted polluted water. Put a metal refinery in it. That way you don't have to worry about the heat for a very long time. Somebody got stuck. Oh, building flooded. And empty pipes. Why do we have empty pipes? Oh, because this is dormant. That's fine. Should I put that? Should I put some buffer tanks in? Chat, do we need some buffer tanks? Uh, isn't the answer always yes? Do you even have to ask? <laughs> yeah, we need some buffer tanks for this water system. Let's figure out how many buffer tanks we actually need as well. Thank you, Amy. Do Can we please get a bit more than just a hint of chaos? Look, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. It's it's the problem with being a professional gamer, okay? 
I am able to control and bend chaos to my will. So sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know what to tell you. All right, so for those of you who didn't know, you can predict how many buffer tanks you'll need for a dormancy cycle. Let's It is hit. now time for stream math. So what we're going to do is we're going to say activity period. The opposite of the activity period is basically the dormancy period. We need to figure out how much water it's going to produce during the dormancy period. The problem is... Let me figure it out. All right. So we take 100 and... You got to do, you got to, you have to set up some numbers because you're going to use them later in this math. So we're going to take 113.1 cycles and we're going to subtract 75.6. We are left with 37.5 cycles. That is, this vent is dormant for 37.5 cycles. Now we know that. You can't just take the average output because this average output takes into account the dormancies and the activity period. We only want to know the math for the dormancy period. So that's when we go back to the old school methods of figuring out how much this thing's producing. So first thing we do is take 401 over 277. That way we can figure out what percentage of the time this thing is erupting during or yeah what time it is erupting during the active period one nope did that the wrong way 277 divided by 401 here we go 69 <laughs> Um, 69 percent <laughs> yeah yeah baby <laughs> so we know that it is when it is active it is erupting 69 percent of the time that's actually pretty that's a pretty active um vent so then we take that number 69 percent Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Phenomena. Do 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 do. <laughs> lady whispering in with the Twitch Prime. Thank you very much, Lady Whispering. Glad you liked what you seen. It's a disaster. I've eaten all the baby carrots, but I still have hummus, and I don't have any pita. Pulls emergency alarm. This is where you get the spoon. Or... Uh-huh. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so 69% of the time, when it's active, it is erupting. So we know the activity period is 75.6 cycles. So I'm going to take 75.6 cycles and times it by 600 because we want the per second rate. So that's 45,360 seconds. We can multiply that times the 69%. I would normally go to another decimal, but it's 077, so it's not a big deal. Jimmy T time in with the gifted sub. This one went to Cornflake. Boom. So that means we're going to have eruption for 31,298 seconds, which we then can multiply times 7.1 kilos per second. That is 222 tons worth of water during our activity period or during the active period. That's the total amount of water that it's producing during the active period of that vent. So one way to do it is to literally just put 222 tons worth of buffer tanks. And that way you can store every bit of water that thing uses. But 
there's an alternative way as well. And that is figuring out the consumption that we need. Yeah, this water is only being used for the vent. Where is my oxygen water coming from? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. In here. My oxygen water is only coming from this tank, which is coming from this one. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with it. Um. So we know that the only consumption from that vent, at least in this instance, are the crude oils. And we know they require one kilo per second. We have three oil wells, so that's three kilos per second. So I'm not gonna clear this math. That way you can do, you can either do 222 tons and store the entire vent worth, or where am I going? Here. So we need three kilos per second during the dormancy period. Well, remember we did the math up here. Dormancy period is long gone. Nope, right now, 37.5. So we take 37.5, multiply it times 600. Our dormancy period is 22,500 seconds. We can multiply that by three kilos per second of water required during the dormancy period. That's for full, that's for all the oil we want. So we need enough storage for 67 tons. I'm trying, I was trying to go around it two different ways to try to, you know, show you why the math is the way it works. Mr. Hyde says, I was waiting for you to do it that way. Yeah, it's if you wanted to store every bit of the water, which to be honest, when I started doing that math, I thought we were serving the three oil wells and our spawn with this one vent. So that's why I was thinking, okay, I'll just store the entire output of the vent, um, but that's not gonna work. But now we know we just need to save up 67 tons of water before that thing goes dormant. If we save 67 tons, we'll never have to run out of um, water for these guys. I'm thinking I should put some up here too. Wouldn't that be fun? Because right now they're flooded. Um... How much is on this line? 1440? Oh yeah, this is fine. Eventually it'll come all the way up here and we'll end up having to move it again, but this is okay. All right, so we need 67.5 tons where each buffer tank can hold five tons. So we need 13 and a half buffer tanks. Can we save 69 for the laughs? Also, we're still on math scene. Thank you, Liaison. Why is the pipe blocked? Um, because we are using the natural gas in here with these three natural gas generators. Unfortunately, we have so much power, it's coming out of our ears, and these things don't run very often. In fact, 0%. Uh, 90-50. Petroleum generators are 90-60. Yeah, we're just not using the natural gas. You can tell he is not in conservation mode. Runs two full lines up four tiles. <laughs> Thank you, Dex. Raven store for us. Echo, can we hire you to do our Ani math? Sometimes the Ani math breaks my brain too. Boop. All right. Um, what was I doing? Oh, 13 and a half? Was it 13 and a half? I think it was 13 and a half. Question is, where are we going to put them? Oh, 
also get rid of this nonsense. Whoop. This will hold five, ten. This is probably the better spot, which means these pumps are now going to be in my way. Get out of my way, pumps! Uh, buildings? Boop, boop. Wikipedia says 13.5. Is that your age this week? No. I am long in the tooth. I'm 28 years old. Ba, ba, ba. Can I get rid of some of this? Yes. Especially if I do that. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. Uh, so 13 will take 26, uh, 26 tiles. Right there. I could probably... I need to move this ladder. It's in the way. Let's just do it this way. Am I going to regret this and have to move and build ladders all the time? Probably. Pop three, four, five, six. Ooh. Steel. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Race go! First time chatter says no way. Echo Ridge Gaming Streams. Three times a week. Dex says the February quality of life update should be out just in time for April Fool's Day. Raven Stormfrass says, what movie was number one at the box office on your fifth birthday? Um, probably Frozen. Thank you for the follow, Risco. Boom, 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 boom. Right there. Get it. Get it, get it, get it, dupes. Yes. I love when they stick around to do all the stuff I need. We desperately need metal ores. We're going to have to start using steel for metal ores. Did I make 13? I need 14, don't I? Yep. Slicky Jeb says, Are you assuming that the rest of the 0.5 water of buffer tanks you need will be just from the water that waits inside the pipes? No, I was just miscounting. Deedly Wicked. I don't want to hear about that long on the tooth Gen X here. That's the big joke here. Because I am much older than than that. Alright, so this is good-ish. But so we always change our um we change our age all the time. I'm not saying that age is a construct. I am saying that. I look at age and I say, I care not. Do your worst, for I shall do mine. Uh, I need to switch to Igneous Rock, don't I? Whoop. <laughs> Otaku says, old enough to know better, young enough to still do it. <laughs> I like it. So, 
I wonder, oh, wait a minute. We have, is this a copper meteor or copper ore meteor? Does the copper meteor just give refined copper or is there also raw uh, copper ores in there too? Do the desalinators have a one-to-one -one conversion radio conversion regarding the water? Oh my goodness. That is an excellent, excellent point, Gonzi. It's ore. Good. Okay, so we have a renewable source of ore. Sulfur in with the 15 months. I appreciate you. Also, Sulfur gifting a sub to their kin. Stream elements, not the bot. <laughs> uh, we have to redo that math a little bit. So the reason why the math... No, the first math would be off. Hold on, chat. Um, the first math would be off a little bit. Because that's not the actual amount of water that we get pumping through it. The second bit of math we did, it's still the amount of water that we're required to have. So when we did the math and said, hey, we need um, 13 and a half buffer tanks, we still need 13 and a half buffer tanks. But yeah, the conversion ratio is not one to one because remember you put in um, five kilos worth of water and you're not getting five kilos back out depending on the salt content, whether it's brine or salt water. Hmm. Thank you again, Sulfur. I appreciate you. I don't know... Yeah, I'm still happy with this. I'm just, you know me, and I have a propensity to overthink solutions. But no, this is good. This still gives us our 13. And then it goes right down here. Mm. There we go. And of course, they can't reach any of these. Might as well get rid of this whole system. Whoop, because they're never going to run again. I did it reverse? What did I do reverse? Uh-oh, Dex. What did I just do? Those need to be there, and that can go away. This buffer assumes you're actually consuming the water, but you're not burning either oil or natural gas. No. Um, we are burning oil because the, these petroleum generators are running 3% um, of the time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But it's, it's for max use. <laughs> I thought it was going to be more than 3%. I'll be honest. All right, that can go away. Right there. Beautiful. And, yep, yep. What is this little guy? Ooh, a cool steam vent. That would be cool to tame to give us even more water. Don't know if we want to do that quite yet, but it's possibilities there. Mm, oh, that is the right one, right? One, two, up two. Let's just keep it that way. Mm. 
Let's put that 500 tons of plastic to use and start using power for tubes. I thought we put tubes in. Yeah, we have tubes in. We could probably use more tubes. Boop. Can I get another tube system right here? Ooh, that kind of works. Hmm. I don't love its position. This is only 140 degrees. I could put plastic in here. It's probably not a great idea. All right, we have those tubies. We have this tubes. Maybe another drop off like over here. Maybe something like this. Whoop. The issue is getting the power there. We got plenty of power. Don't you use the natural gas in the oil reservoir? Don't I use the, yes. It is power and water that is lost. We're trying to use the natural gas. We eventually will be able to. Um, but remember, all this oil, we're actually gaining the water back from the petroleum generators as well. Do your streams ever get turned into videos or playthroughs for YouTube? Cornflake, I'm so glad you asked. Um, we actually have a VOD channel that all the streams go up to. Overheat damage? Not again. Ah! Let me think. Oh! It's because the steam turbines are too hot. That's why our solution was working. Hot igneous, ah, oh, man, we're gonna need another. That's fine, it's fine. I'll keep throwing aqua tuners at the problem. You will not beat me. Four aqua tuners. This is redonkulous. Let's go here. Boop, boop, boop. Just put him directly in series, not playing that other game. I, I do like this method. I really do. I think it looks cleaner. Uh, what was that? Entombed? Oh. Stop it. Stop it. I'm working on it. Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming. All right. Do I want to do them both like this because it looks nice? I don't know. We'll leave it like this. And that way, it it is also good to have two separate systems for the simple, um, for the simple reason it allows me to be able to explain it to people in chat a little easier. So I can justify it that way. I can show them the different types. There we go. And this is gonna be set at the same thing. So that way, if it's 42 degrees, it's gonna go, it's gonna get cooled down twice. That should fix that fairly quick.
Mm. I also want to do this. I don't like that there's mo well this is still a radiant liquid pipe, right? Yes. What do we have down here? Is this oil? Yeah. Let me add a little bit of oil too. More power! I should be digging this whole time. I got four idle dupes. Get to digging. It's because I'm still trying to play catch up from the cleanup party. Clean up! Clean up! Everybody everywhere! Uh, do I want this system here? I don't really need it. I'm about to dig all this out. Yeah, we'll get rid of it too. Soren Hero! I appreciate that pendiculate. Oh. Boop. Goodbye, automation. What was this? Oh my goodness, this is an old system. What made you choose your outro, outro song on YouTube? Um, YouTube has a music library and I went through it one day and just started listening to all sorts of songs. And um, I don't know, Johnny Come Watching Home resonates with me a little bit. So what else is this being used for now? Oh, this is the other side of the base, so that's not too bad. But all that can go away. All this can go away. Miss Music Lady says um, it's a really great piece of music. I like it. Um, it's also it's odd to me, and I don't know how this happened, because it's also the Ladybug song. I don't know how... I guess because the song's so old that they can steal it that way however long ago that happened Mrs. Music Lady says my students love it that's awesome connect the tube oh yeah good call uh, digging farming rocketry digging with allergies we could use another digger this one's narcoleptic. We're going to take this max. So get your dupe raffle tickets in now. Welcome to the colony, Max. Uh, priorities for Max? Digging. Boo. Oh, storing... Nope, digging right here. Digging a building for Max. Let's go get those skills. Max, Max, digging. You get your hat, too. Let me do a double check here. Kochka Pochka is ready for some grilling and some carry. Way to go, Kochka Pochka. Uh, grilling two hat, nice. Who else is low? Henry the Eight is a researcher. Researcher. Ten, ten, nines, nines, eights. Let me check out the eight. Oh, yeah. What were you also doing? All the carry stuff? You got 41 morale, so I need some demolition, too. There you go. Fronima. Fronima is now our premier demolitions expert. And everybody... Oh, nope. Hot tub. Hot tub. What are you doing? Oh, you're not doing much, huh? 
Ah, uh, we can at least go suit sustainability for you. And I suppose we'll have one with pyrotechnics. You never know. Have they given us a new pyrotechnics hat yet? No! Come on, Clay! It's one little hat! Your amazing artists could probably draw that up during a coffee break. Uh, Dark Wizard, maybe? They are pretty good. The Haunted. No. Haunted doesn't like to do much of anything. The only thing they like is carry. <laughs> newbie? Newbie, newbie, new. All right, we're good. Why don't you take the suit wearing rank two? Um, because this is a third tier morale. So it requires the, the morale to morale need. The benefit to the morale requirement for that is, I don't know if it's worth it. You need three more morale need because it's a tier three for plus two athletics that they're going to get anyways. Yeah. Maybe if we ever get reliably into the 40s, then I'd go extra exosuit. Amy patiently waits for nails. <laughs> Kitsune Wan says, do you know common good? I don't know what your question means. Cornflake says, if there was any change you could make to Ani, what would it be? Oh, I wouldn't make changes necessarily. What I would do is add more to it. Like I'm a big proponent to adding a fire system. I think a fire system could be awesome. Um, each material would either be flammable or not flammable and have a percentage of whether or not if there was a fire in this tile, what's the chances of it spreading to this tile and how long? And then in order to fight fires, you could have little fire stations where your dupes would have to go in there, get changed, and then come out with little soda bottles to try to put out the fire. Oh, it'd be glorious. Um, but also... Um, space stations. Yeah, I would also make the diseases a little bit more, um... If I had to change something, I'd probably change something on the balance side in making the diseases a little bit more difficult. I don't want new players to actually do, uh, to be crushed by them, but I think they're too easy. All right, I need... Just take a look at this. Are the Great Halls too big to be Great Halls? I don't think so. Great Halls. Yeah, Great Halls can go up to 120. Oh, we finally have somebody using the hot tub. Duncan in the hot tub. Yeah, like little Aru says, Slime Lung used to um, end a run. Rock and Raider says the only disease I don't blatantly ignore is zombie spores. Yep, I bulldoze right through zombie spores too. Because it, it just doesn't matter. Unless you're living in a carbon dioxide atmosphere, like it. Uh. <laughs> Turtle Hermit says, does that mean Pumpkin's a hot tub streamer now? <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Okay, um, where was I? I've gotten myself sidetracked, and I want to do a lot today. Maybe we just stream forever. Forever endeavor. What's going on here? This is ridiculous. I need more. Let's go like this. And we'll try separating it, like, here now. Uh, I Am Killer Dove also mentions the temperature and pressure filters with bigger gradients. I would like the Atmo, Atmo sensor to be higher than 20 kilos. I understand why they don't want it to get too insane with it. Uh, but maybe at least, like, a 50 kilo situation... 
I could do more with a 50 kilo Atmos sensor. Ideally, I'd have one that goes up to, you know, 150 because that's when vents sort of shut down. All right, now how am I going to do power? I really want the opportunity to get rid of these two lines here. And I think we can. Hold on. Oh, that's going to a thermo aqua tuner. Okay. Let's do some of this action here for a minute. I'm going to bring these up. Uh, Mr. Echo, the DW rep is calling about zombie spores, something about proper PPE and containment measures. Uh, Amy, please tell them I am out to lunch. Thank you. <laughs> more informative overlays for temperature and pressure oh yes oh here's another one for you like if i click aluminum nope where's my see all right here these little graphs i wish you could click them and it expand into a greater graph because these don't do anything for us look at these big flat lines The materials overlay, I would love all these overlays to be so I could click metal and then down arrow it to where I could select any metal. Not just all the metals, because for a colorblind dude, like there's so, it's so much blur. I, I don't know what I'm looking at. I know what I'm looking at, but I can't tell the difference between, for instance, copper ore and just the background here. All right, let me get power up. They can always exit here when they don't have power. Oh, I do have a thing right here. Even though I hate doing this, but maybe until we get the complete power spine in. Yeah, maybe that's what I do. I don't worry about the power spine too much until I dig everything out, and then I can put in the proper power spine. Let's get to digging. I completely forgot to turn this off. That could have been bad. But it's working better now. Please go fix this. You nincompoop. Are you going to get the errand? No, they're not. I'm probably going to have to rebuild it. All right, yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's do the dupe raffle. Can I get an exclamation roll 24, please? We also got Tom. Appreciate the drink, doll. Who rolled it first? Jarifa did the wrong number. I am Killer Dove. Did not do the space in between the roll and the number. So Hyde and Hyde rolled a five. Oh, no. What's going on? Why can't I copy this? There we go. Boop! All right. Remind me to come back here and reset that. So let me go over here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. It's Hyde. Hyde rolled their own number. I mean, that's pretty good. That doesn't happen a lot. <laughs> that definitely does not happen a lot. Congratulations to Hyde, who wants to name the dupe Pikachu. Pika. Pikachu. <laughs> Congrats, but rigged. <laughs> oh. Ooh, PVG Pelvis in with a dupe luxury package. <laughs> Pelvis says, Hey, Echo, Becky Beach paid for this dupe luxury pack. Thanks. The dupe is muted rap call. Oh, that's so good. Thank you, Max, for the forward as well. Muted rap call. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. 
<laughs> Becky Beach. There we go. How are we doing? None of these are vacant, right? Via, via V, the color. So we're going to have to go up. Or maybe we go over. Yeah, let's go over first. Oh, uh, no. Because then there's ladders in the way. We'll go up. Boop. Uh, we're building these out of obsidian. Like a weirdo. Can we... Ask for a ball-shaped luxury package for Pikachu? That's fun. We'll try it. Uh, what's going on in here? Why aren't... Oh, the zombies... The sporkids. <laughs> Does that mean that bedroom's not even getting the bonus? Oh, no, because there's enough in there. Uh, let's give Muted Rap Call the wonderful race car. A couple of... Uh, let's go with a nice arrow pot. And a beautiful landscape. Let's do a nightstand. And a, uh, and a small sculpting block. Granite. There we go. Now we gotta figure out the, the background though. I like using the solid colors, but I'm out of solid colors, aren't I? Maybe I just reuse some. Oh, like we haven't used this yellow. I don't think we've used the yellow. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Arrow pot, mirth leaf seed. And then this is muted rap calls bed. Beautiful. Thanks for the long time of loyalty. Speaking of which, I'm about ready to do our first prediction. Yeah, but this is a different yellow. This is a strong yellow. What's going on? Why is Pikachu... Oh, they're having an allergic reaction. Because they ran through here. Dark Vorbug in with... Five gifted sub bombs. Thank you very much, Dark Vorbug. I appreciate you. Welcome back. Uh, but predictions up. The queen was playing queen on the spot. Already got the prediction up. So we're uh, we're predicting whether it's going to be closed drywall or something else entirely. Good luck to everyone. All right. So. Ooh. A cook with us who's a kitchen menace. Yeah, we'll just do... I'm kind of looking at that Steve as a pick him up set him down dupe. That's I like Steve's too because they do the yodel. And they're handy at construction. Yeah, we're going to grab this Steve. So in the midst of doing a prediction, you also now can buy some more raffle tickets for the Steve. Boo boo. Steve can go down there. This is fine there. Priorities for Steve is going to be supplying, storing, and Tidying because they are a pick them up, set them down dupe. Where are you, Steve? Oh, yeah. Mrs. Music Lady is all in. El Turtle Hermit is all in. Oh, Red Stonecraft is all in. I love it when they push their chips right to the middle. Beautiful. We will get to the Steve and that um, dupe raffle here in a second. Thank you again to Dark Vorbug. I appreciate you. 
We got Got Nate's all in. Jay Powell's all in as well. Got it, Redstone. Got it. Thank you. All right, so this is going to be fine for now. Let me start doing all of this nonsense. Why is this six? This is bothering me. Why? Why? It's supposed to be seven in between. Let's fix it. Fix it real good. Dun 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 dun. So now when I go do our massive digging, our diggy diggies, we don't have to worry about this well, as much. Oh, this heat? This heat's just going away. That's not enough heat to be worried about. I am a dupe. I'm digging a hole. Mrs. Music Lady is trying to <laughs> manifest a payphone for me. I too like payphones. Three. Oh, it did the silly, silly. There we go. Um. Any more for the dupe raffles? Final call for the dupe raffle? Is there still stream bingo? It kind of fell by the wayside, Hainola. We were trying to do a pod and the person working on it um, got it to the point where they were happy, but we don't have it really automated. Don't know how we're going to do that in the future. It was Stream bingo was fun, though. All right, what is going on here? Oh, up here. I was going to reset this. All. There we go. We shouldn't have any more problems with this. Should. You know how that goes. Boop. Boop. There we go. How's that coolant doing now? Oh, it's doing beautifully now. It's sitting at the 20 degrees it's supposed to be. Perfect. I wonder how fast that igneous rock is coming out now. I want to get some of this swept up because I just want to see how much dirt and uh, igneous rock we have coming out. And all these other materials that are, you know, coming out, kind of interfering with it. We have no igneous rock in here? Wow, we must have picked a lot of it up already or something. Here's what I wanted to see right here. Comes in at 200, 216, that's pretty fair. Oh yeah, down to 30. It heats, it'll heat all these plates up pretty quickly. Then it should start just spitting it out. Give me my rock! <laughs> that sounds like a crack addict. <laughs> Give me my rock! Oh, wow, that blueprint prediction is huge. Up over 200,000 echoes. All right, let's do the uh, dupe raffle. Let me get an exclamation. Roll 19. Jarifa 2 rolled a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. It is the DZIM. Super duper. <laughs> Oh, that makes me giggle. Come here, Steve. Your name is now... Super. Dupa. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Thank you, everybody, for participating. And now, 
the first of our two predictions. Let's get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Here we go. Give me a good sound. Oh, it's not a good sound. Oh! Not basic khaki gloves! Oh. Congratulations to the clothes folks who picked option, what was it, no, option number one? Oh. That was a lot of echoes. Some of you made a lot of echoes from that one. Man, that stinks. Let's go to the supply closet. I don't know if it's even a duplicate. Of course it's a duplicate. What is I even thinking? Recycle! There we go. All right, so... Oh, that was dug up fairly quickly. So now let's go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whee! Not sandstone! Ugh. Igneous rock, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, not through there? Should we tame this vent? I mean, I don't see why not. We have, we have the power! There's a little oxygen in it, which kind of is a bummer. Because normally you just want the, the water. So before I rip that up, how would I fix this? Um, I do not know. Does anyone know if there's a website that does geyser math for you? Uh, Relage, what kind of geyser math are you trying to do? Nowadays, we have the average output. So as soon as you analyze it, you're pretty good. You don't have to worry about much else. We used to have a we used to have to use a mod to do it, but now we do not. I'm not going to rip this out yet because I want to figure out what else. Ooh, okay, maybe I can Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to have to put it over here because this is the side I need to go up on. Oh, wait a minute. I can just go up right there, can't I? Yes. I'll work on taming this while we do all this. Whoop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I don't know if I want to make that giant mess. Oh, we could have used our old refinement system right here. Let me put that metal or that. Oh, who are you? Adorable. Oh, look at Super Duper. Let's go to single speed. Look how slow Super Duper is in that suit. You can do it, buddy. <laughs> Lolinda Falasian says, do we need to ask for link permissions? Um, normally, we <clears throat> just um, send it to a mod. Because only VIPs can send mods and VIPs can send links. Let me do that so I can start draining some of this water. I guess there's not a lot in here. Just a little bit of polluted water. I don't really care about that, right? Yeah. Oh, Geeky, you're about to get stuck. Oh, well, your fault, not mine. Bye! Ha <laughs> ha 
Boop, boop. I tried to get that. There's a system that you can sort of allow. So, for instance, Linda could be like, hey, I'm, I wanted to post a link for X, Y, and Z. You're supposed to be able to hit like allow or something. And then they get 60 seconds to post a link. For some reason, that system is not working for us. Enzan says, youngest dupe follow can. Be right back. Screen idea. That's a pretty good idea. Danger, Somebody Danger. is stuck. Right there. There you go. Yes. Now all I have to do is drop this. And this water should stack. Nice little steel pumpy right here. A little steel pumpy action. I think it's permit. Well, let's um, let's try this at permit. Lowlander, Valajan. Oh my goodness! Box Fox Merle. Lowlander, can you post your link now? Yep. See, still does not work. Ugh, I don't know why. It's something else that's stopping the links then. All right, who's entombed? Oh, this is fine. I... I wonder, I'm not sure what it is. Is it, um, it might be in Twitch. I need to do some work on it. I definitely need to do some work on it. Uh, we have some ice melting up here. That's not... None of the buenos there. This thing has just been on autopilot forever. How are we doing here? We need... We still have 28 tons of iron and 5 tons of refined carbon. And we have the refined carbon on automatic creation, so we're fine. Hmm. I probably have links disabled in Twitch. Box Fox Merle sounds like they know their way around. Uh, let's pause on taking dupes for now. Not that these are great. I don't know. Camille's pretty good. Quick learning? And their only negative is Plant Murderer? I mean, we need dupes. We need the dupes. You know what I'm going to start doing? If you actually help me with a sound alert... And it does something like, oh, I didn't know that. I'm going to refund you. I'm going to refund the cost of the sound alert for you. I just realized that. Yeah, let's grab this Camille. Another dupe raffle. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. What do we have here? 8, 16, 32, 40. What can 8, I say? 16. This is not 40. Yeah, it is 40. Wow. Yeah, so we have room. We have plenty of room. NDDBS! Welcome back. Get your dupe raffle in. What was the dupe good at? Um, they are researching dupe. And it's Camille. And Camille's are adorable. They are a researching dupe. Um, and they're quick learning. So they're smarty. Smarty researching dupe. So they'll skill up pretty quickly for everything. Um, what else were they good at? Because I wouldn't have just taken a flat researcher. Rocketry. So they can be a good, um, like the our orbital dupe or something. <laughs> Beautiful. Priorities. You are allowed to do the researches. Oh, so is Henry VIII. Completely forgot about that. Making sure everybody else who's supposed to be doing it is allowed. Yeah, we're good there. Researching tasks. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Raven Stormfrost says, I finally have enough echoes to enter the raffles. Vodlander life is rough on the echo market. <laughs> oh. That's fair, Raven Stormfrost. It's fair. Uh, I'm going to need some power over there eventually as well. This is such a pain in the tukis. But... I might be able to do it right here. Nice and convenient. To already have some water in there. Here we go. Need that salt water to drop. Oh, uh, it's still not enough. The salt water dropped down too far. Hmm. I suppose I can just add more water. I'll just keep adding water till it gets filled. Because I need these tiles right here to be filled. Before I... Oh, wait a minute. How am I going to get in there otherwise? Because it won't be locked. I guess I'll get in here, do the work, and then we'll fill it from the top. j Pow. Continuing their sub from a to a tier one. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. All right, let's go conductive wire. Uh, yep, lead is good for this. And then I need some pipage. We're gonna go out, and I also need a thermal sensor. Mm, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to have to uh, probably right here use a bridge because I'm going to have to get the radiant pipe back through. And then... No one then! We'll use um, aluminum to go around here like... Ooh, no, that's not good. Oh, this will work out just dandy. Look at that. Beautiful system right there. We'll also add some temperature shift plates. That's why I like when the steam vents are underwater. It makes it so much easier to work in. Let me go... What are we going to use? Not diamond. That's a little excessive. Igneous rock is fine. Just to the inside. Because you don't want to be... You don't want to put the temperature shift plates next to insulated tiles. It's kind of counterproductive. But now, we need to put some rainy prints. Drywall. The rainy print is now going to be the official, like, everything that has to do with a water geyser gets the rainy print. This is going to be entirely too much water for this. I'm going to have to drop some of this water. Whiskey! Welcome back, Whiskey. Good to see you. Di disfellowship. Disfellowship. With the follow. I appreciate you. Welcome to the channel. All right, let's do that dupe raffle. Uh, somebody hit me with an exclamation. Roll 18, please. Hey. Killer Dove rolled a 16. But first, check out those numbers on Whiskey's resub. 44 months. This is why, so for those of you who are in the channel on Friday, on our Be Right Back screen, we now play clips. And one of the old clips back from the Duelist days popped up. That's how long Whiskey's been around this channel. Thank you, Whiskey. All right, so we got a 
Killer Dove rolled a 16 out of how many? 18? Okay. 18, 17, 16. It is Snipes! Oh, is it Snips? Because they just wanted to name their dupe Snip. Way to go, Snipes. I still have to call you Snipes because, well, it's, it's, it's the ES. The ES makes me want to say Snipes. Where are you, Camille? Snip, 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 snip. Camille, Camille. Okay, let's just sort it by name. This will make it a lot quicker. There we go. Snip! Congrats. Thank you all for participating. Bloop. All right, what were we doing? I just squirreled myself. Oh, we also have a steam vent up here that we need to be taming. Holy vey. Get rid of those. What is this, phosphorite? Pick it up. Then we're going to have to dump this. Uh, we might as well... I don't know. Hmm... I'm debating on doing this the right way. Like this. Right, you don't even have to do that. We can just do something like that, and then we can get in there and vacuum this out. Just like this. Why would you do it the wrong way? I, I don't, because I'm a special. Okay? Because I am special. Whiskey says, I'm in the fire academy right now, getting close to two years left in the Navy, so I'm starting to ramp up my focus on future civilian life. What, did you take leave to go to the fire academy? How do you do that? Boop, boop. All right, so they'll be able to get in there, do this work. We'll pump this out. I need power yet again. So I might as well... Oh, what is this pumping? 720? Nope. Yeah, this is only doing 720. I can hook a, hook a thermo aqua tuner to this. Uh, but not plus another pump. That would send us over. So, second, first, same as the first. What's in here? Another water geyser. Sweet googly googly. 95C. We're going to have to tame it too. Oh, it's a hybrid course. So it's online school work. And then every two to three weeks, we meet on a Saturday or Sunday to do the live skills. That's awesome. That is awesome, Whiskey. You've always known that you didn't want to do the Navy for long term. I hate it for you. Well, I hate it for future you. Well, one day I'll buy you that beer and... And drink to your happiness. <laughs> so... Then when I grabbed my phone a little earlier, it was um, Sassy Chick trying to FaceTime me. So what we're going to do is everybody right now say congrats to Sassy Chick because she just landed a job that she wanted. And then we'll take a selfie together, okay? She's so very excited. She So she's in college, obviously, right now. And... We've talked about it before, and she just landed a really good serving gig at a nice, nice restaurant. All right, let me get my let me get my camera going. Whoop. 
Now, Chad, I'm really not good at selfies. Let's do it. Yay! So I'm really happy for Sassy Chick. And we'll send that. Thank you, chat, for allowing me to, uh, to do that. She's super excited. Some nice parenting payoff. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see about that. Oh, uh, all that can go. We're going to have to dump some of this water out of here because this is too much water for a thermo aqua tuner system. We might dump the whole thing and just start over with it, right? I also need a brine bucket. It would be nice to have access to brine that we can just tap into. The sassy chick is in the chat. Oh, there it is. Hi, sassy. Anonymous gifter with a gifted sub over to sassy chick. That's awesome. I'm very happy for you, baby. Way to go. All right. Uh, where are we here? Before I got interrupted with the feel goods. All the feel goods! Uh, are we out? Did it already pump everything? Vacuum? Steam? Yep, we're good. You don't need to do anything else. That was quick. That way you only have steam and water in there. And the idea is that these, see how the temperature shift plates are just basically converting everything into a vacuum like this. It's condensing the steam so fast. It's wonderful. Oh, uh, conduct the fire. Boop, boop, boop. Thank you again to the anonymous. Big hugs for gifting Sassy Chick a ad free viewing experience. Right, so that's good there. I think we can seal this up now. Because the only other pipes we're going to be looking for is some insulated, right? Here and here. Like that. All right. All right. I can't believe all we've done. I guess we've done some digging. I, I need to get on the ball. I need to get on the ball. This is ridiculous. We have so much work to do. Oh, is this a hot boy? I think this is a hot boy. Yep, that's a hot boy. But I think we can still go down one. Whoop. Yeah. So we don't even need the ladder there. Yes, we do need the ladder there because that is the eighth. Wee -wee! Oh, yeah, this is going to be a good one. All the way over. Over, up, tuck. Oh, I still don't know what to do with that water, so I will avoid that there. Bingo. And Bingo was his name. Oh, yep, that just happened. Sometimes I do things that I, I just don't understand. I don't understand. Something's entombed? Yeah, it's probably up in the meteor area. Uh, these aren't... Oh. This is why they can't get in the, up there. Whoop. There we go. Copper ore? Two tons? Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Apps are doodly doodly. All right, I think this is ready to be sealed up. We'll do it there first. Let's see what kind of water we're getting from this. Wow. 1.3 kilos per second. That's not bad. A drink and a pendiculate from Soren Hero. Oh, that one. That was a good one. Thank you, Soren. Whew. Uh oh. Somebody's trapped. What did you do? You're not trapped. I don't even think you ever were trapped. And a drink. Cheers to you, Soren. That is the last of the tea for the day. Fronima with the Ahuga horn alerting me to the entomb, so uh, they get it refunded. And let's go wee right here. And right here. Yep, we're also just going to dig that up and destroy it. Very nice. So far, so good. When does this thing go active again? Nine cycles? Should we play on hypersonic speed today? Oh, that's not good. Oh, we have another trapped. Oh, come on! Yeah, you might want to dig faster, buddy. And all that water is going to come all the way down here. Ooh. Boop. Why is this saying no power? It's obviously connected to power. Or is it just the tube? Okay. What's going on? Do you like surprises or would you rather know a tiny bit about said surprises? I am not a big surprise guy. And the reason why is because I don't like receiving gifts. And so it makes me feel like all, I, I'm the giver. Like I like to give. So making me, uh, so when I receive it, it gets all sort of funky. So typically the answer to that question is, I, I don't like surprises. Cause I need to prepare myself sort of thing. Can dupes die by falling? No. Max says, what? I go away for 10 minutes. I miss bring your daughter to work day. <laughs> yes, it was a rare, a rare sassy chick sighting. I'm very, very happy for her. Uh, partly because um, she's a broke college student, right? <laughs> Which makes me giggle because I need her to be broke because I needed her to learn the value of said dollar. So that job is definitely going to help her out. I'm very excited for her. Stream Elements the bot says, good, I'm glad for this answer because arranging the surprise is becoming increasingly difficult due to me not being in the US. I feel your pain there. I was not able to send hide a giveaway. Now I'm going to have to do silly things like unless it's a digital giveaway I'm not going to be able to ship so I went over to the USPS to be able to ship them um, to see how much it would cost to ship that power bank for Hyde and the price was reasonable I didn't love having to pay 50 bucks for something that only cost $25 retail but I was willing to do it 
But what's crazy is then they wanted my phone number and everything else. I'm like, no, I, I can't give my phone number to all the um, all the people on the Internet. I'm not saying Hyde would do anything nefarious with it, but you never know. All righty then. Let's open up this little hole right here. And then we can dump everything into this biome. You should sweep before placing that insulated tile. I thought I did sweep. No, we're okay. We got lucky. All right, so now that is good in there. So I can get rid of these. A thousand kilos per tile. This would be 500 kilos worth of steam pressure each tile. That does not work because it'll eventually stifle that um, vent. So we're going to do some of this. Whiskey says, might I suggest creating a Google Pion that you can use on stuff like that that won't tie back to you? I don't know what a Google Pion is. Whiskey dropping knowledge bombs here. Pick your own number. I mean, that's not a bad idea. But what, what happens when somebody calls me on the pion? <laughs> Can I keep calling it a pion? And now I can empty this because it will all fall into this giant hole. Bloop. <laughs> Get that pie on. <laughs> all right, we have some salt water and stuff in here. I'm still going to mop it and dump it because it won't... It'll never sort itself correctly. Whoop. Uh, I can't mop that, can I? Let me see what it came out to be. Yeah, I see this salt one salt water. And it's salt water is heavier than water. Yes. So let me dump this again. Google Fi lets you forward calls to any number you please. Yeah, but do I really want to... I still don't want a number that I need to answer. I don't know. I'll have to give it some thought. You don't have to answer, it says Whiskey. <laughs> there is salt water in, the geyser, in that geyser too. Yeah, we're going to filter all that out later. This is fine. If I would have remembered that, I would have mopped that out, though, because that was an easy mop. Ugh. Let's get back in there and do that. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you, Glenn! You ruined Christmas! Or in this case, give it to USPS, yeah. Whoop. There we go. Then I just deconstruct this. Did I need automation? Oh my gosh, I did need automation. Well, you don't need automation. You want automation. This system will work right now the way it is. But I like adding a thermo sensor to the water. And an Atmo sensor. Which I don't have a lot of room for this said thermo sensor. Mm. All right, so we're gonna do it like this. Atmo sensor, or no hydro sensor rather, and then an ander. Give me my ander. Then we'll just go up, up over tuck right in there so the reason why this works i want there to be a little bit of water in here to stay in here that way the, the all the thermals that we're putting in stay in so in other words if all this water ends up being 25 degrees 
basically the old room stays at 25 degrees. But if you drain your steam vent every single time it erupts, you're basically starting from scratch. Every time it erupts again, it's going to condense, but it's going to be 95 degree water. Then the thermo sensor is there to tell the pump when not to pump as well based on temperature. So we're going to send a green signal when it's below 30 degrees. And this, the water level has to be above one kilo. Where you have the hydro sensor, it will stifle the vent. It's not stifling it right now. That's why it's it's barely a uh, point where I, I don't can't do that low. It just has to be above zero. That might work. It's not stifled right now. It is erupting, but this is sort of the line. Do the mop, silly. Silly. <laughs> Thank you, Weezer. That's another freebie. Another freebie. Whoop. There we go. Now sweep that out. Oh, I don't have a place for salt water. Um, maybe we should make a little tank. I mean, this seems fair. Oh, but we don't want... I always do this. What other waters do we have? Maybe polluted? Yeah. So I can have a nice... How many tiles we got here? 12? That's not enough. Oh, no, no, no. That's not... Is this big enough? Yeah, this is fine. This is... It's fine. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm new to this game. I know you can tell. <laughs> Something like this. Woo! Deck says it has to be a full... Full tile to stifle the vent. Good knowledge. Now... Let's try three or four wide, right? Oh, that's, it's not even Steven! I want it to be even Steven! Let's try three wide. This is gonna have to be it gonna have to be it. Alright, so we got salt water, brine, polluted water, and what? NAFTA? I don't know. We'll have a we'll have a spare just in case. Boo boo. Where'd all of my dupes go? Duplicants come back! There, 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 there. Yes. Can you go two, three, three, two wide? No, that wouldn't be even Stevens. We want it to be even Stevens. Dave Hammer in with the tier three, 19 months. That might be the highest for the modern day. The queen's got to be on 19 months too, though. 19 months, Dave. Thank you very much. And five gifted sub bombs. How are the trains? Hope they're doing well. Raven Stormfrost is symmetrical is even better than even Stevens. <laughs> uh, we need to get back up, seal this. Oh, that's right. We're doing that sort of thing. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I guess we can do this. They have two ways to get down. 
And then each one's going to have one of these. Plumbing. Boop. 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 Thank you again, Dave, and welcome back. I know you had a busy couple of weeks. How'd it go? It's fun. The next month will be busy every weekend. The train shows all over with train shows all over. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, that can all be swept, but later. So now I can do this. Oh my gosh, we're almost we're using ores for this. So pricey. All right, so this is going to be salt water. This is going to be brine. This is going to be polluted water. Yeah. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And as long as there's carbon dioxide in here, we don't have to worry about the polluted water off-gassing. Oh, wait. There won't be polluted water in that tank, though. Building and pair, digging, building with allergies, green thumb, mole hands, and stylus. It's a stinky! Now, before you guys go get nuts, um, consider, consider Bushman Gloves Glenn has loved the stinky forever. So maybe you can trade, trade dupes with stinky. But that's all up to you guys. But this stinky's good. Digging, building, mole hands, and they're only just allergic. Get your dupe raffles in right now. And because I'm pretty sure we have another Bushman Glen in here. Maybe we don't. Maybe we do not have a Bushman Glen. Skills. There's Pikachu already ready for their second form of digging. Super duper. There's our Stinky. We're going to give um, Stinky the building hats when we get there. Building, digging. Alrighty. So I need to make one of these solid. That way the carbon dioxide sits in there. So it'll be this last one. Uh, yeah, it'll be the last one. It's fine. That way it doesn't off gas. So this can be salt water. Go get all the salt waters. It's going to be a little while. This is going to be all the brines. There's already polluted oxygen in the tank. Yeah, it's fine. The important point is that there is... Uh, carbon dioxide on the top of it. Polluted water. Alright. They'll be dumping that off for a little while. Starvation. Super duper. You need to stop going outside, okay? Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, yes. Look how pretty it is. All right. Now I can finally finish this construct. This is more water. Is that okay? Storage unavailable. That's not true. We have salt water right here. Oh, okay, it's because they hadn't done the pipe yet. Uh, let me do... Let me move it, actually, first. And then they can get to it when they get to it. Can we pretty please make allergy medicine? Uh, we don't... Yeah, we can make allergy medicine. Now, will everybody take the allergy medicine? Or just when they get allergies? I feel like we've done this before. And I feel like I already have the answer to my question.
Uh, do I want to... Yeah, let's make a nice little... A nice little area right here. Medicine. A nice little apothecary. Food. Ration box. Smart bin? No. Yes, smart bin. Because we're gonna load them up. Load them up! You can set it in the food tab. I know you can, but I'm not sure if a duplicate will eat allergy medicine if they don't have allergies. You know what I mean? Automation. Boop, boop. Uh, nope. Not the right way. Automation, not gate. Now, the reason why we're putting the not gate and everything in here is because we're going to tell this thing to keep making allergy medicine until we have X amount. Alex, welcome back. I appreciate you. Now, allergy medicines forever and ever. And then we will say um, this can hold what? 20 kilos? And this will hold 10. And that way there's always some in here. Medicine. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, B button. The not gate needs to be turned. Uh, what did I do? Uh, out, disabled. Does it? I think the not gate's good. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. You're right. Thank you. Wrong way on purpose? No, that's... It's me. It's the storage bin that's giving us the... The automation, not the, this is the receiver. The apothecary is the receiver. Good catch. Boop, boop. There we go. Just take a look at this. Only when allergic reactions happen, the relevant dupe will take an allergy medicine. Funny enough, they won't take the allergy medicine before smelling allergy germs. So then maybe we don't even need A full collection. All right, do we have our first allergy medicine? Yes. So now it should pop in here. Medicine, allergy medicine right there. It should pick it up. Now this is gonna be a four. This one's gonna be set at a five. And that way the duples Dupes will come get it out of here. But this is what's going to control how often they make it. And it's just because I like the dupes picking it up from this ration box, but they could easily pick it up from this smart storage bin. Boop, boop. All right. Back to... Oh, well, no. Let's... Let's do this the right way. We need some drywall for our triage area. Maybe some polka dots. Because it's a party in the triage ward. Arrow pot here, arrow pot. Oh, this needs a light. That is definitely what this needs. Yeah, I do need the flower wallpaper. That would be good. Uh, automation weight plate here. Little light bulb. Oh, I think we have a nice light bulb for here too. I don't like that. It's going to be ugly that way, so we're going to do it a different way. But let me go um, blossom ceiling lamp. 
Perfect. Automation. We will go up like this, jump over, and then go in there. It'll hide it a little bit better. Yeah, this is not a hospital. It should be bleak. All right, fine, fine. Whoop. We're looking for hot. We were looking for positivity. We just don't have a lot. <laughs> we could just do the standard drywall. Yeah, this is not... The triage ward is a fake term. This is not going to be a hospital. There's nothing... The only thing you can get is a hospital. But it requires toilets and everything like that. So we just have a place like this. Maybe red because it's like code red sort of thing. That'll work well for a little bit. We could come back and redesign later. No, we weren't going to do a full-size hospital. I, I, it doesn't even... It doesn't even do anything. Red so you can hide the blood. Perfect. All right. Uh, why isn't this not turned on? Oh, they already made all of them? Oh, very nice. All right. Allergies are now a thing of the past. Let's do that duplicate raffle. Let me get an exclamation roll 23, please. Can a massage clinic have triage beds? I don't see why not. Yeah. Ow! It looks like all many, Almighty Balbino with the roll 23, roll the 17, so we'll go to the bottom. 23, 22, 20, 19, 18, 17. It is Bushman Glen. And it was Bushman Glen's rap. A lot of people uh, tried to do Bushman Glen's name. But this is actually Glen won their own raffle. Very nice. Way to go. And of course, somebody in chat says rigged. <laughs> oh. Bushman Glen. And they got a stinky. I know that makes them happy. Whoop, boop, boop. All right. Now I can finally get this thing going. Let's also get rid of this. Boop, 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 to the boop. duper rigged <laughs> oh chat i think i'm gonna take a quick break uh partly because i have to shake the dew from my lily but also partly because i just love the clip player now um so enjoy the wonderful clips make sure you stretch your legs go get a snack drink some water do all those good things and uh i will pause it so you can hear it um no, the music's still there. So maybe we just save and quit. And it's good. It's a good time to restart anyways. Because you know how Ani does. There we go. All right, Chad, I'll be right back. This up here. Whoa. You don't get to see that too often. That's not supposed to do that. We did not cover it with the requisite amount of things. That is a straight up bug. Uh, Carrie? Carrie's about to die. Why is Carrie about to die? Is that oxygen?
<laughs> oh! Oh! Echo's dead? West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground. This is where I spent most of my days. What we need to do is clip and then share the clip. Today's stream is not being brought to you by Perrier. And the reason why it's not is because, well, they don't even know I exist. But enjoy your Perrier! <laughs> Yes! Oh, hold on. I need to get a Perrier. I'll be right back, okay? I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna walk away with my blue shorts. Here we go. Yeah, I'm a little empty on the Perrier. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh. oh, delicious. Absolutely wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. What's going on, chat? Excuse me. Zoldan. Zoldan? Zold there. Uh, Riku, move. Uh, okay. Well, there it is. There it is. Spicy tofu. That's a first for me. I've never created spicy tofu before. How did you get up there, Ghost Rider? Look at Ghost Rider. Like, I'm the king of the mountain. James is over dramatic much. Me? I'm a sea turtle. Don't you see me? I'm a sea turtle. I. Doctor Ch Chotica, not Max. I don't, I don't understand the reference, but we're gonna go with Doctor Chaotica. Now this is gonna be confusing because the Doctor, the oh Chaotica. <laughs> oh, oh. It was such a good pull. Oh. <laughs> I remembered. New poll. In depth. Thermo aqua tuner explanation. Yes. No. Additional votes? Yeah, sure. Oh my gosh, they're dropping like flies. Where is the food? Get a whole huge custom deck. Or do you die after three losses or something? Damn you! Well, we got our first one, right? Ooh, and it still shows our three. In a colony where, you know how I feel about it. It's that mid-game lull that you just, like you're going to spend a long time just, oh, where's my air? Hold. Oh. Oh. Oh, never mind. We have plenty to do. We have plenty to do. <laughs> Gonna quote Echo for this one. We don't play smart here. We play fast and loose. Fast and loose. Give me the talking points, Queen. Look, I've been behind the times. I'm behind the times. Queen says ignore it. Nemetrex is fairly sure it's not a mod. 
Well, here's the storage bin. Oh my goodness. No way. What? Chat. How? What? I have never seen that. Since when? That has to be new. Three fourteen, March fourteenth. Three fourteen. Hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. It's 3.14. It's pi. <laughs> I should have done a lot more working work on my username. My goodness. My goodness. That is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> the man selling the lemonade says, do you have any grapes? And the guy says, no, I don't have any grapes. So he says, okay, I'm leaving. I'll see you again tomorrow. The duck then comes back tomorrow and asks the lemonade stand guy, hey, do you have Ooh, any grapes? I do no, like pie. I don't have any grapes. I sell lemonade. All I have is lemonade. I don't have any grapes. The duck says, okay, I'll see you tomorrow. This goes on and on and on. And finally, the lemonade stand owner gets very frustrated and says, look, I've already told you I don't have any grapes. All I sell is lemonade. If you come back here and ask if there's any grapes, I'm going to tape your bill shut. So the next day, the duck walks. Just take We're going full pants this. mode, chat. Full pants mode. <laughs> Let's do the fork in the garbage disposal. Let's do the fork in the garbage disposal. Ding 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 ding. I did it for you, chat. I did it for you. Now Keep in mind, as soon as you clip it, I'm gonna delete it. <laughs> we need the smoldering salami. We need Aiden the duplicate. He's our he's our resident. He is our resident um Wisconsinian? Wis Wisconsinian. Wisconsinite. Samsonite. Wisconsinite. Wiscon nah. The people from Wisconsin. Eh? Echo! Get it! Four, three, two, one! We did it, chat! We did it! Woo! Yes! Oh, I can't... I can't go under that, can I? Chad, I... No! No! <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna go under the desk. Ha ha ha. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah. We're back. We need a mod strictly for Zoom purposes. Well, the, um... Weazer says, because there's a Vodlander here, yes. So Weazer and, and I have this battle going.
because I like to wear the nice comfy socks, especially when it's a little chilly out. And we as ours like, no, you need to wear the fun sock. What up? Feel bad for that dude though. Feels bad, man. No chat. No. Nope. Oh, it's so cringe. It's so cringe. <laughs> Simmy says, what up, Echo? <laughs> Look, I don't even know. I used to hate. Hate's a strong word. I used to very much dislike the whole feels bad man thing. I don't even know why that came out of my mouth in that. I don't, I don't know. But you saw another, what now is being affectionately called bro echo. We're not calling him bro echo. It was definitely not bro echo. It was, it was the same echo. <laughs> it's fantastic. What up echo? Oh, welcome back. Pumpkin. Breco. Broco. <laughs> oh my God. Shave or 24 hour stream? Definitely not. Definitely not. Never again. Backstreet Boy Echo. I know it's so cringy though. It's so cringy. At least the other Bro Echo wasn't as cringe. You need to name one of your Dreco's Breco. It was not, it was not definitely bro echo queen. That's not a thing. It's not a thing. <clears throat> oh. Oh, no, definitely not. <laughs> oh man. Amy said, the queen has spoken. Sorry, Echo. <laughs> Amy, I need to see you in my office, please. <laughs> During the break, Punkin in with 314 pie bitties. And Meg's live with 100 bits. Says, bro, Echo is kind of cool. Thank you, Meg's live. <laughs> Arsenis says, ooh, Amy's in trouble. <laughs> ooh. Yeah, okay, we can do the next prediction. That sounds good. What were we working on before I went on break? By the way, cheddar and sour cream, chips, and a Slim Jim. If we make a clip, will it make it into the break reel? Yes, eventually. There's a higher chance, like when I'm playing Oxygen Not Included, there's a higher chance that it'll be an Oxygen Not Included clip. But I was glad to see that the other one still made it. But the cool thing is, um, I don't think we lose as many viewers when the clips are on as compared to a standard break. Uh, that's got to stop right there, right? Yeah. The prediction is up. Thank you, Queen. Uh, right here. Get your echoes in. We, I think we almost set a record last time because there was over 200,000 echoes in the last prediction. Bushman Glenn said, hey, I just had some of those same chips. Oh, they're my favorite. They are my favorite. All right, now we need still to mop this up. That's five. That's fine. Go like this. That'll work there. Got Nate is all in. J Pow, all in as well. Uh, what do we got here? More water. That's fine. Utilities. Thermal aqua tuner. I guess we could put it over this side. Can I switch it? Yes. It makes it so weird. 
<laughs> to do it in reverse. But it's worth it. We're gonna do it in reverse. Reverse! Reverse! I wonder... I wonder if it could do two. I'm not 100% sure that one thermal aqua tuner can do both the, the water vent and the steam vent. But let's try it. We will try it for posterity. Max says, oh no, I missed the clips. Good thing I clipped and downloaded Echo Bro last stream, says Max. See, that's just mean. That's just mean. <laughs> I clipped. Bro Echo. Oh. Uh, like this. Go something like this, right? Yeah. Yes, we're making a big old mess, but it's okay. For science! We're doing it for science. You have two steam vents and a water vent. Yeah, but I know I can't do... I don't think I can do all three. I don't think that'll work. This one we're going to save for an independent system. Maybe this will also be the one that does the whole base chiller. That might work. Oh, no, we already have one up here, don't we? <gasps> I wonder if... Yeah, we'll do it here. Right through there. Bound and determined to drown the hermit. <laughs> all right, let's pick all this up. And start building this out. All right. So... That's fine. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm trying to think because I'm going to have to bring it all the way up over. It almost would have been better to redesign this. So it just sort of goes up and then out this way, but it'll be fine. It's fine. I can get rid of this bridge now, though. No, I should not. <sighs> Proud dad moment from Big Frosty. My daughter is sick and got prescribed her first actual pill today and was able to take it no problem. It's a small thing's weird, I guess. That is a thing. Um, when Little Chick and Sassy Chick were young, if I remember correctly, one of them could take the pills very easily. The other was not a fan. And... Like this. Liquid pipe thermo sensor. Little action. It's going to come back in through here. Go up, up, over, out. And then in here. we. Oh, there's something in this pipe already. Contains salt water. Uh, no, it doesn't. Kevin! Welcome back, Kevin! Hey, buddy. How was your stream today? Did you have a good stream? Forehead kiss from my homie. Oh, what do we... Don't keep pumping. Why are you pumping? Oh, okay, no. They weren't. Uh, did we already have power situated? Yes. So this is also going to go here. I'm going to need a coolant. 
I'm running out of polluted water to find for the polluted uh, for the coolant, but we'll figure that out. Uh, have you met Ted? Suppose I can do this. Just keep them separated. Da na 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 na. -na. We'll just go over, up. Like this. Am I gonna have enough? Uh, I'm gonna need one more because I'm not gonna have enough room to put a thermo sensor in there as well. Now in this one, you don't really need the temperature shift plates and all that noise. More rainwater. It's the only one I can use now. It's the only one. I have oil and petroleum. Yeah, we do. Uh, like this. Good thing it's nice wallpaper. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness, so pretty. I will leave. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this corked. So hopefully it'll push the water out. We'll see. But now we need one of these plummy boys. Plummy boy right here. And it's gonna take the water and go, I guess, straight up through here. I mean, that's kind of sexy. Why do you need this much water? We don't, Frontima, but um, we'll have water available to us when we do need it, right? That's going to the desalinator. It's okay, it'll pass right through. I am probably... Mm, yeah, this is fine. But now that I'm thinking about it, it might be a little bit better to send it all the way over and have it hook up after the salinator. Hmm... Okay, let's do this. Let me put the desalinator over here. And then I can use that cooling loop to also keep this one cool. Yeah, I, I, we, we, got a, we got a plan. Is Cocky Chick the second daughter? <laughs> she'd like to, she'd like to think so. No, Cocky Chick is my better half. Sassy chick was first daughter. Little chick is second daughter. All right, let's go buildings. Oh, Shadow Pie has a, has a balloon. Balloons! I don't even know how they ended up building these. No. So what is the queen? The queen is like the lead mod for Echo Ridge Gaming. Let's go for on that. That's not an emergency. Then now let me bring this over here. And I can go over, up, tuck. And Echo's non-official boss is Slicky Jeb. <laughs> You can run 22 natural gas generators on three kilos of crude. That's a lot. Pop it, drop it. There we go. Now, this line is 720, right? I guess we'll Google like that. That line couldn't hold a desalinator. 480? 480. Yeah, I think that line can hold a desalinator. 
Oh, but not and the pump. Okay, yeah, we've already done that math. Whoopsie daisy. Um, this doesn't need much cooling, but it does need some cooling. Hmm. I'm gonna do something a little different. Just like this. And then I'm gonna bridge it out. And then have it reconnect there. Boop. Deconstruct that one. Random hatch. That's the dis that's the salty hatch. Now what was I gonna do with this? I am not sure. Oh, now that the desalinator is after, I can just join it up. That's what I was doing. So because the it's clean water afterwards, we are just fine. Why aren't you still go Oh, because I disconnected the pipes. That's, it's all right. It's all right. I shall predict your future, says Slicky Jub. You will do a blueprint prediction. Hamana, 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 hamana. You ready? I want to hear the good sound, the dink, dink, dink. happy sounds. That's like seven commons in a row. Man. And I think we already have the bold retro flower pot. Big win for the others, though. Ooh, supply closet, buildings. Yep. Recycle. All right, so this is getting good. And this shouldn't cost us too much. I can actually go like this. Use some aluminums. And we can go right back up. Woo. Like this. What can I say except you're welcome? I gain all the echoes I spent this stream. It feels right to me. Mr. Hyde lost all their echoes. J. Paul lost again. <laughs> um, front of my bet 50 and got 130. Expected more. It's always based on how much you bet, though. All right, so water's coming out. The salinator's being cooled here. Now I need to cool this water. We'll just do like this. And then... You know what? It might actually make sense to go one higher than we traditionally would, just to give us more cooling capacity. So we'll do that. And then we got to send it all the way back. With using more insulated junk. And then back. What a complicated loop. Like, this is just nastiness. I don't know if this one, one aqua tuner can handle all this. Let's do some industrial drywall in here. Max in with a pendiculate and a drink. Ooh. Oh, thank you very much. Big leg stretches. Oi, sorry dog. 
The sheepy one. I appreciate sheepy one. Should you cool it if it's going to the oil wells? Yes, because we don't... Just right now it's going to the oil wells, but we might use it for something else later. And you want to make sure the system's in place. Just in case. Cheers to you, Max. All right, so, so far, so good. Oh, there you go, Glenn. Did we ever do Glenn's skills? Yes, we did. Oops, Super Duper's ready for another one, too. Uh, improve strength. And I need some automation in here. It says, do not pump unless it's nice and chill. The good thing about this is you don't necessarily need 100% of the capacity of the cooling. Because there's a chance not all of these are going to be erupting at the same time every time, you know? Ooh, I need to analyze that. That would have been a mistake. Are you still sitting cross-legged? Yes. I usually sit crisscross applesauce. It's not necessarily like full crisscross applesauce. It's kind of like a layered approach. So it's kind of... I don't know. It's weird. Why drywall in the Aqua Tuna room? Just for fun. Just to make the base look cool. Don't your feet go numb? No, because I'm not sitting on my feet. I guess one foot is kind of being sat on, but so it's different from being like you're fully crossing your legs. The way I'm doing it kind of, it kind of helps keep the circulation going. All right, I need a mother, another, which one's got some room? Uh, no, power. Oh, this one's got plenty. Bloop. Little bit more drywall because once again it looks nice. Uh why why do you do that to me, game? Why? Good, 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 good. Dravy says, what Echo really meant by the whole why do we drywall the aqua suit room is that if he doesn't, we as are asked why it's not drywalled. <laughs> and I am here for that as well. I mean, that's very fair. Oh, I don't love this line going through because if we ever need to repair it or something. So let's move it. Yes, yes. All right, now let me see if I can... I know I have a little bit here. Uh, what is this? Why is there regular water in this line? I don't know if that's going to be enough. How much is in these buffer tanks? Oh, plenty. I'll just tap off of those buffers. Um, yep. And then I'll also do this. And we'll fill these back up. Boo, boo, boo. Once they get that, I can also shorten this loop now because it's not actually keeping anything cool. Yeah, this whole loop was being used nothing but for nothing but this tank. Yeah, and then I can separate it because this one doesn't have a buffer tank. This will be the one that eventually probably... Or maybe I just tie these two together. And I'll have two aqua tuners for the whole base cooling loop that'll also keep the steam room cool. Oxygen water tank low. It's not low. We got plenty of water in here. Plus, this thing is coming out of dormancy in a half a cycle. We're okay. 
We're okay. When are you going to do the kitchen? Um, I'm not sure yet. I want to do it. I'm thinking I wanted to do a, a Visco gel kitchen. Just take a look at this. Everybody likes kitchen work. <laughs> Slicky Jim with a huge explanation that ends up and says, no, one aqua tutor will not be enough. It'll be fine. It's going to be fine. Uh, what do we got here? If it is below 30 degrees, you can send a green signal. And I do want to keep something in here. Oh, I didn't leave the cork off. So, dang it. I got to do this thing again with the AND gates. How do I put this in here? Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Yeah, this is fine. That'll go into there. This will go into here. Then we have a hydro sensor somewhere. Can it go here? No, here. Fine. <laughs> Have you heard the better one? Like a good neighbor, stay over there. <laughs> can Peggy cook? No, Peggy, I do not believe can cook. That is a duplicate required ta errand. Can I freeze a dupe to a sculpture? <laughs> Solutionary says the game does the math for you. Really, it tells you that the tool in the tooltip it moves 585,000 DTUs when it cools a 10 kilo packet of water. That's fair. All right, and then I want at least it's got to be at least above zero, and then I will do this. And out. I think that's it. Good. Good. So now I just need some coolant. I can separate it there. Separate it there. Also gonna stop it there so it'll keep filling up. Yes! Give me more! I'm just draining this line is all I'm doing. Whoop. So Shinari says, having said that, I don't know what we're cooling. And that can go back that way. So now all that water is in there. So now we do have extra whenever we do need it. This is as far as it's coming over though. So we will um, just drag this here. Bridge that on. And we are going to need more. So I will grab it from here. Boop, 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 ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo. Good? I think we're good. Get this party started. Oh, wait, we're not completely good. I need to fill this thing. And I'm going to have to put another one, like, down. Ugh, dang it. What can I... I guess I'll use this polluted water. Ha-ha! <laughs> Liquid, polluted water first. No, no, no. 
you need to stop right now. If it's above 5,000, then you can start cooling it. Oh, it's going to turn into steam immediately. Oh, yep. Keep cooling it. Good, 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 good. Water. It needs more water. It is locked up right now, which is great. But this is not enough water. We'll do one full bucket of regular water. That's not it. <laughs> Oh, is this already full? No. Yay! Reclaiming materials. We are not wasteful. That's probably enough right there. In fact, it's probably a little too full. So we'll take a little bit out. But I can't forget this because I don't want to refill that whole loop. Whoop. There's one. Yeah, that's probably fine. One will be fine. Now go get all this stuff. You can say polluted water. Why do I keep pausing it? You are done? 43 kilos each tile? Absolutely. So as soon as they get... To, why am I on slow speed? So as soon as they finish, we can seal it up and be done. I guess we're going to call this the water processing area. Ooh, speaking of which, do we have our 14 tanks? Not yet. We have lots of tanks, though. <laughs> All picked up. Great job, dupes. Great job. AKA Buffer City, the gray water plant. Um, I could just fill this entire area with buffer tanks. That'd be sexy. What is the... Th 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 why are we trapped? Oh, come on! Why do you even do it? Boop, boop. How are we doing? Igneous rock at 560. Aluminum. I wanted to do a metal tamer today, too. I don't know if we'll have enough time. We'll try. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Because that was the perfect position for that dupe. <laughs> yee. Oh, no, 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 no. I was going to do it again. I was going to do it again. Some of you noticed, too. I guarantee it. They're like, he's going to forget the vent again. He's gonna forget it. Hold, hold. Dang it, he didn't forget. <laughs> Sent to Cotton Candy Land. I do miss Cotton Candy Land. Cotton Candy, sweet and low. Yes. Steam turbine and should be good. Uh, lead? Yeah, lead steam turbine seems good. And you can actually turn on now. So we'll say if it's above, we'll go 20 degrees on this one because these thermo sensors are looking for anything under 30. So it'll give it a little bit of flex room. Oh, look! Oh, there's natural gas in there? 
So all I gotta do is build one here. I can now seal that one up. And it should push everything out. Come on. All right, more digging. Diggy, diggy hole. Oh, where's the hot over here? Jeez. Not obsidian. Did I say seven? Yes. Whee! I'll stop. Yes. Oh, I love it. Give me all your goodies. Which geyser is... Which one? Don't you off-gas on me. Polluted oxygen. It did it. It did it again. Why is it all of a sudden starting to do that? It used to never do that for me. And now, despite there being 53 kilos worth of steam pressure, a little bit of the polluted oxygen... Mm. Oh, you need power. I need power! Boop, boop. Mm. There we go. One twenty-seven. Yeah, we have time to. I don't. It doesn't make sense to me. Because the water turns to steam. So there's either water in the tile or steam in the tile. Soren says, that's why I don't use pee water in this line my steam rooms anymore. Yeah, I think you're right. I gotta get out of that habit. Did we do it? Is this water now? Nope, still natty gas. Just need a little bit more. Just a little bit. I think it's going to stifle before it'll actually do it for us. Maybe... Like this? Maybe? We'll see. Alright, what are you doing? Oh... You're not being cooled at all. Oh, I don't love that. Why didn't I cool this? Because you were just going straight down to the oil reservoir. All right, so if we do need to separate them one day, then we know we can tap into this steam vent and this water geyser. It'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be fine. Fine. In fact, I want to separate them now. Oh, this has got to flip too. Which means I'm going to have to let more out because this is our output for this vent. Uh, yeah, see, here comes that fresh water now. I could also just for now just pump them right into there. It is fine. Nothing to see here. Right into the water supply for now. And... Oh, this is awkward. I should have thought about this. Because there's no... I gotta do... Climb the giant staircase just to get up there again. That does not need to be. That can be regular tile. Whoop. 
Here we go. We don't need that water. They'll be good backup sources until we find another use for them. We're down to 474,000 calories, though, so we might consider throwing down on more bristle blossoms. Maybe even, because this is nice and chilled water. So we can have it overflow. Whoopsie. All of this has been chilled though, right? Well, kinda. Yeah, this has all been chilled. But I need it to be after this, because this is the final destination, so we're gonna come in through here. Final destination. Ugh, I just did not like those movies. Not a big fan. And we can separate from here. Can you zoom out and show the different overlays? Sure. This is the very important all overlay. And also what 11 frames per second looks like. <laughs> Metal. Oh, you're talking about these. There's power. There's some temps. Uh, the the uh, gas pipes don't look too bad. Plumbing doesn't look too bad. Power looks horrific. Horrific. Alright, where was I? Going here. So this water is going to come out. Hmm. You know what might be better? Depending on how many we grow, we'll just have that rejoin way over here. Oh yeah, this will be good. And that way I can just keep extending bristle blossoms for as long as we need. Soren Hero says, final destination, you mean the PSA to never drive behind logging trucks? I think about that all the time. That's funny. <laughs> Cooling line over plumbed. No! Oh, good catch, Mr. Hyde. I did it again. Chat. Oops. Oopsie daisies. Oh, that makes me not happy. Okay, so I can do. We were preparing for this anyways, so let's just get our nice little goldie boy right here and this. Here we go. And this time I'm sure I'm going to catch it, right? I'm sure. I'm not going to miss it this time. Whoop. Whoop. All right. Now up. So this can go away. And then I can just plumb all this. And then we'll remove those. This can be removed. Why are you going in a loop this way? You should not be doing that. We need a directional thing here. Maybe like that. <laughs> Slicky just says, oops, you did it again. You played with your pipes. You got lost in the game. <laughs> there we go. Good, 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 good. Oh! How did this get plumbed?
Those better are not connected. Oh, yes it is. I'm just being silly. Don't worry about me, I'll be here all game. Professional! Last couple blurbs. That should be it. Alright, so that's good. This water's gonna come up here. This water's gonna come up here. Everything is just gonna feed the bristle blossoms. It's... Uh, let's go like this. Feed the bristle blossoms. Vaisom, first time chatter, welcome. How are you? Welcome to the chaos. Ish. Okay, that's good. This is good. It's so funny. We didn't have to do this, but this is for... <laughs> oh, we'll leave it that way. It's funny. This is for direction, not actually jumping over things. All right, so this is good. Now we have Bristle Blossom. Oh, these don't need to connect either. Because they have their own lines. Could you roll a 20 for me? Yeah. Roll 20. You could also hit a D20. Kiki. Kiki says no wish about this chaos. This chaos is full blown. <laughs> what is. Oh, this is our hot tub system. Yay, hot tubs! What is going. 13 tier 1 subs from Dark. You've already gave love today. You already gave love. Oh, man. I guess on break we. um. Oh, no, I, I don't think I missed CP1 coming in the channel. Either way, thank you for the follow. Dark, you're yesing too hard. Did you remove the cooling loop from the hot tubs? No. Where's my cooling loop from the hot tubs? What happened to my cooling loop? I think it might be okay just because the radiants are right here and the metal tiles are here, but we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Suarez! Suarez Zykan! With the five gifted subs! Thank you both. I appreciate you. Dark says, I rolled it. Oh, you're nuts, Dark. Now I get it. It's already going up in temp. 28.3, 28.4... When did I do that? I don't remember doing that. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to get the directional this way. Because it'd be... i like it a lot better if this was full. So, can someone on the console grab the idea of modular baseless base and deliver it to Echo? I'm working on that in the farm. In our farm YouTube series. That's exactly what we're working on. Alright, so how do I get this to where... It splits. And then doesn't join... It's still gonna go one for one here.
What if I back it up for a second? How often are the bathtub ubes? The hot tubs? They're not, not as often as you want. Oh, we should have shown Pumpkin their room for Dumpkin Pie <laughs> while they were here. It was so good. All right, that's a little better. That should help. Okay. Get rid of all this. Yeah, let's just keep scooping. Lots of dupes inside. Larva eggs, operating tidings, small bladder, shabby dresser, grease monkey, Mima. I mean, seriously? Mima is the next dupe du jour. Get your raffles in for the Mima. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is Dumpkin's room. Um. Uh, it also has some sporkids in it, but there's no carbon dioxide, so they're just wilted. <laughs> oh, we love it. Get your raffle in for the Meemaw. That's a pretty strong Meemaw, too. Let's go. I need to check the schedule. I knew I'd had too many people up here. Not that it matters. We have like eight toilets. Uh, Bushman Glen. And snip. Snip can come down here, please. Oh, we're getting starting to get a lot of dupes. Lots and lots of dupes. Where'd snip go? There they are. We're not naming a duplicate Broco. Get it out of your minds. That's not happening. Bro Echo is not a thing. I was not broing. There was absolutely no broing involved. You know, we're also gonna fix this. I don't like how different these are. So while the, the lamps are a little bit more um, efficient. Boop. I think the light bulbs look prettier. There was some broing involved. There was no broing. What's going on over here? Oh, illumination. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. All right, so this will be the first one. These shouldn't be lab lights. These should be pretty polka dot lights. Mm -hmm. All right, so this one goes all the way to... Oh, I can't. Move out of the way. So three over. One, two, three. So it comes down to there. Oh, that's actually lined up pretty well then. There was a lot of broing going on. There was no broing. I am 100%, um, we'll say anti-bro. Oh, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. So much broing. <laughs> oh, all of you are mean. You were all mean to me. We eventually need to get some nat- We have plenty of materials to get the uh, the fertilizer station going on. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Boop. Boop. They are pulling your hair because they like you, says Amy. Oh. This area should be fine. I could also split it. Split this one here, so yeah, let's do it. For this for the lulls. 
And I'm not saying we're going to plant them all, but we'll have them available. Um... Uh, Weren't we gonna put a room up here? Oh, we gotta. Yep. So they're gonna. They're gonna have bristle blossom. They're gonna have bristle blossom ceilings. Like I can't. That can't be helped. Oh, we had dual bathers. The piping triggers the OCD. No, it looks good. Stop. It looks good. Look how good it looks. Now that it's backed up, I can go like this. Okay, good. It's still flowing in the right direction, too. Okay, why are you not 50-50 splitting? Oh, pipe mechanics. You sounded like that one chick in Trolls. Which one? Poppy! Bridget! Mm. What? I guess it was just because they were building pipes or something. That's weird. Fine, I'll do it over one more. But it doesn't make sense because the cooling apparatus is right here. All right? Man. <laughs> we probably... No, we'll be okay. This is probably going to get a lot of carbon dioxide. But we'll see. We'll see. Beautiful. And I think we need one more here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Nope, that's not enough. Right here. And just to make sure we're not going to keep that dupe up. No, we are not. I don't even know how many duplicates we can support right now. So I suppose this is still 15. This is 20. That's 35 dupes right there. We have 37. So what's happening with all the food? Because you only need three bristle blossoms per dupe. Somebody's not producing. I am confused. Yeah, plus we have all the Drekos. Hmm. You suspect. Deck says when the dupes construct a segment of pipe, the game puts all the water bubbles on a pipe segment so it can make it look like they are stuttering. Oh, I see what you mean. Why don't you bring the cooking loop up under the canteen hot tub bristles and left across the top bristles, then right across. Steve, what are you trying to do to me? Because this is the way, this is the way it is, right? I see what you're talking about though, like right across here and then like this. Okay, that is much sexier. I like it, Steve. I like it a lot. Is that a room for shovels? No. This is our duplicate Dumpkin Pies room. <laughs> but yes, it's all obsidian. And that way, anytime we get shovels, um, we drop their eggs off here. And this, we're also getting barbecue from here as well. Oh, you know what it might be? No, the electric grill's only operating 67% of the time. Okay, that is much sexier, Steve. You could be losing a lot of food to rot. 
Yeah, but we'd still be climbing, not going down. We started the stream with 550. I'm just going to dump this now. Because I want to get rid of it. Oh, this is going to be nice. So much nicer. Not even going to need this silly bridge. Uh, yeah, we can do the raffle. Let's go with an exclamation. Roll 21, please. Slicky Jab is already on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is Marquee 90, 1988 with the win. Oh, and they incorporated the Mima name. That's perfect. Me Marky. <laughs> I love it. Well, well played. Well played indeed. All right, where are we? Oh, we never put these things in. Okay. Let's finish. Oh, wow. Look at all this. Amazing. Blop, blop, blop. That's going to cut off there. Bloop. And now we need to separate it. I don't need this anymore and get rid of this bridge. Which also means I can get rid of these bridges. All right, I fussed at Steve. And Steve had a ma magical idea. So, way to go, Steve. You're today's hero. Yep. You are definitely today's hero. Not all heroes wear capes. All right. Here, here, here. I guess somebody's gonna have to have a bristle blossom floor. <laughs> they can't. Oh man, I guess we can go another one up here. Kevin says that they want a cape. <laughs> Bushman Glenn breaking out in song. All right, that looks a lot better. Tip of the cap to Steve and everybody else who was suggesting it because I know there was a lot of people yelling at my OCD or at the lack of OCD over those pipes. Nope, we'll take the mallow seeds. I like taking those flowers, those plants from the pod because you can't get them otherwise. Oh, I did definitely drop some water, didn't I? <laughs> Geeky Gamers says, not all we are heroes wear capes, but most heroes are named Steve. <laughs> a la Steve Rogers. <laughs> I gotta go do this again. Because I don't learn. I don't. You might be losing calories because of ingredients are rotting before turning into extra calories from cooking. I don't think that's the case because we're only cooking 67%, 64% of the time. So they should be able to cook fast enough. See, right now they could be cooking stuff that is rotting, but we'll eventually get to the nice kitchen. Bloop. Bloop. All right, we'll go like this. Um. Oh, goody. Let's do a metal volcano tamer. This will be one of my uh, one of my designs, like the hybrid design.
The Queen has a small announcement. The Chaos Crew, we are down to our last week on this run. Make sure you email your save files to gravitasfiles at gmail.com by the end of next Sunday. Why don't you just put blocks under the geysers? Why don't you put blocks underneath the geysers? Huh? Why don't why don't you? <laughs> it's a really good idea. <laughs> Way to go, Swarzaz. That's a really good idea. Oh, and I don't think I've ever come to that conclusion myself. I may have once. But that's a that's a super good idea. Is it too late to play the Chaos Crew seed for the next seven days with no sleep or breaks in order to send the finished file? <laughs> Remember, we only we only get to display um, between four and six colonies. So most of the people, if they want, get a PNG at the end of the video. But I'm probably going to ask... Queen, I think we talked about it. Did we say four videos or four colonies? I know I can't do eight again, but I can't remember what I thought after doing the six. Six is a decent amount. Maybe five? Yeah, let's do five this time. All right, so that's going to get in there. And then that can go there. How many colonies do we usually get? Uh, it's been growing. I'd say a few dozen. Wouldn't the block stop the carbon dioxide? Yeah, I'm gonna have to put an airflow tile down. Now, we got two airflow tiles down here. We got two down here. So, yeah, we're fine. Yeah, like the queen says, we can do five featured, but everyone can be in the slideshow at the end. That's right. And... This is the image that we're looking for, like this size. So from this screen, so you go Alt S and then you can zoom out and that way I can show a big. Some people have been sending in uh, the colony summary picture, but the queen will put all those instructions out. I know they, the chaos crew is fairly well versed this time. I will need two right before the vent two airflow tiles. We have them right here. It's not too big deal. I don't mind if it stacks up a little. All right. Um, get rid of all that. There's still bristle blossoms, bristle berries over here. Okay. Oh, that's right. We're going metal volcano. Metal shopping. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, look at it. Choo choo! <laughs> uh, where is this button? Danger, right robot, here? Sir. It's getting a little bit more. We've got two and a half kilos worth of natural gas pressure. Yeah, we can. I think we can finally delete these, though. Pyroy says, dang it, son, where is my chaos? That's a large orange room. We're supposed to get more digging done because we got to dig all this up too and then start our spaceport. We'll be doing that probably for the next couple of streams. Oh, speaking of which. Whee! Um, since this is underwater... Uh, no, this will be too much water. So we're probably going to do the one up there. This is... The line right here. Hello, Hermie! One, seven, eight... Eight. 
Oh, it was so close to being perfect. Oy vey. Put this for the hermit. Release natural gas and it's bubbling to the surface. Very true statement. Uh, speaking of which, oh, look at this. It actually did it. Very happy. Now, who knows how long it's going to take for all that to cool. It's going to be a while. Because <laughs> it's also cooling this. But this is dormant now, so it will be able to catch up. We'll see. Perfect. Ish. Whoopsie. Oh, yeah, this can go right through it, too. We'll probably get a duplicate stuck somewhere, but it'll be fine. And then we get three from the top. And four from the bottom. The only... I don't want... Uh, we're going to make a huge mess. That's hopefully enough to hold it all. Nope, this is just going to be a huge mess. Oh, I cannot do that. Nope. Hold on. We have to do this. Because otherwise, all that water is going to come splashing down here, into our oil, and then down through here, and eventually through here. And no one got time for that. This is why I said this will last for 15,000 cycles. What has this been running now? 200, 300 cycles? And we haven't turned a single piece, a single tile of magma into igneous rock. Not a single one. Because the door shuts for... Just a second. Is that hydrogen going to get into the base? Yeah, maybe. We'll get it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, thank goodness. We got it in time. <laughs> and we go like this. Straight through. Whoop. Uh, we can do... What is it? Right here? Oh, no. The, no, 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 no. I miscounted. It's one up. Thalric with 10,000 dupe safety bits? My goodness. That is nutty. Thalric! Slicky Jeb, have a good night. I appreciate you coming by. Thalric in with 10,000 bits. I think that's tied for the record for the most bits ever given at once. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Somewhere I think I messed this up. Because I did count like this last time. So why is it... Yeah, I guess it's too high. Kevin says, hey, Echo, I have another friend streaming for his birthday. Check out what he just earned from the hype rate train. Very nice. The golden Kappa. It bugs me. Um, well, maybe not bug is the right word. But they, they shouldn't limit it for just 24 hours. It should definitely be like you get to keep it forever. On his birthday? How lucky is that? That's pretty cool. EQ Selkit says, Echo, when you use geotuners, do you need one geotuner per level of the volcano vent? I was experimenting on the CC seed and had to make the second geotuner 
to get the vent to level two. What do you mean level two? Basically, any time you use a geo tuner on a vent, it does it by one. So, like one geo tuner is just going to boost it once. Two geo tuners boost it twice, and you can go all the way up to five. And oh no, Quaifed Quoka is uh, a little stuck. Oh no, they can go down. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's got to rip that open right there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Whoop. Uh, has anybody watched Warrior that just came to Netflix? I think it was ori originally on Cinemax, I think. I don't know. I think it's still there. I don't know the deal. Um, I started watching it last week, and I'm intrigued, but I'm, I'm undecided. If we can drain most of this water, maybe this is the, the one we do. Since we haven't started building, and well, that kind of makes sense, is we've been doing the... the taming as we build. I'm on season two, says Colonel Sanders. Uh, does the... Does the Sergeant Irish Cop ever get better and get his head out of his tuchus? Don't answer that question, but... That's what I'm dealing with right now. Whoop. Yeah, we'll tame that one down there. Because it just makes sense. Colonel Sanders says, yeah, Bill has a character arc. I need that arc. I need that arc for my life. All right, this is carbon dioxide. It's going to need to be steam, which means I'm going to have to trap it in and do all that kind of stuff. So let's do that now. Uh, how big do we want to make this? Shake it, break it. Aluminum is not very hot. Not very hot. Trapped. Nobody's trapped. I don't see any trapped. Kind of Nubis said it. Just said it. Honest. I'm still charging you for that one, Nubish. <laughs> still charging you. Let's go with a quick... Sort of like this. No, I want to go a little bit lower, right? That way I can still build in there. The counter hope blowing heat exchange of the petroleum boiler design is very efficient. Plus you have the small different specific heat capacity that aids in bringing the crude oil up to transition temp. Looks like Dex is, uh, dropping the knowledge in the chat for somebody. Blady Lysak. First time chatter says, Hey Echo, I am not an English native speaker. Can you please explain what a tukis is? But then they have the kappa. A tukis is your bottom. Everybody shake those Echo bottoms. Shake it, shake it. I want to see some Echo Rump Shakes. There they are. That is a Tukus. This is actually all steam right now. This would be great. If we could sort of hurry. Mino and Liv are trapped. Mino. Now we do have some traps. Which means Carthor is getting a refund. It's not an English word anyways. Tukas, uh, is that... 
Is that a Jewish word, Tukas? It's Yiddish. Says Setsukijo. Did Broco win the raffle? No. Broco's never going to win that raffle, I promise. <laughs> we have a drink and a pendiculate. Oh, thank you. Big stretches. Ooh, Hainola says Yiddish is Jewish. Is that, is that a thing? I didn't know if it was like a, a dialect or something. Somebody, let's educate ourselves, chat. The queen says yes. Very cool. Learn, learning new things and then Soren with a drink. Cheers. And boom, boom. It's specifically spoken by a subset of Jewish people. Oh, no, no, I, but it's not the same language. Obviously it's like Hebrew, right? It's a, I guess it's a, I don't know. Okay, Akanthiel says Yiddish is a dialect, but it is not Hebrew. Thank you. I love learning new things. Oh, there's carbon dioxide in here. I'm going to have to vent this. Gonna have to vent it. Uh, we'll do that. All right. So West Philadelphia, I was born and raised on the playgrounds where I spent most of my days. And we started with the gas pump. And it's made out of steel. And somebody's stuck again because they are a bad dupe. And what do we do to bad dupes? We send them to neon cotton candy land. All right, you guys are there. Oh, so you're just stuck right there? Oh, that's easy. Be free! Neon Genesis Evangelion? No, it's Neon Cotton Candy Land. I need power down here somehow. Uh, I'm gonna need one Thermo Aqua Tuner and some other goodies, so we might as well bring this whole contraption down. Ugh. Oh, we're cl you know what? We're close to being able to do the actual, our actual thing. So for now, we'll just go like this. Ew, ew, stop it. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, the horror. Ani, Dark Souls edition. After that series ended, did Lady Ruff ever make it to Neon Cotton Candy Land? Or did she have the planetoid to herself? She had the planetoid to herself. Typically, after you see a finality of a series... I am never playing it again. Typically. Not always true, though. Ooh, we can at least do two in here. Boop. The, uh, the exception right now is the Chaos Crusade that I am going to one day get to cycle 10,000. That's the goal. It just takes a long time because apparently it will not... 172 kilos worth of um, water. This will be fine. It will not stay running for more than like four hours before it just crashes to desktop. And I don't know why. Some people have suggested it's the, it's the current patch. I've tried to remove as many mods as I can. Rob Roy, I appreciate it. I appreciate the lurk. Thank you for coming by. Memory leak? I mean, that's what it sounds like, Psycho Panda, somewhere. And it's not just me. Um, other people are saying, I have said that they are having the same issue. 
All right, so I'm going to have one of these little fellows right here, which means I can get a battery and a large power transformer right here. Like this? Oh, not steel, though. Ew. I could actually put the battery inside. That'd be kind of hot. Help conserve a little bit of heat. Uh, let's go cobalt. Chaos Screwed Seed has given me so many headaches, including crashes I gave up on myself. So, yeah, I don't know. EQ says, my Chaos Screw Seed crashes ran only two. No, um, and you guys, are you guys talking about crashes to desktop or the crash, the in-game crash where it shows bubbles? Because I'm crashing to desktop. Yeah, Selkit says to desktop as well. Okay, uh, we have some steam. Oh no, come on. All right, this is fine. This is fine. Can I build this really quickly? It's not hot enough in here. It's just a little bit of carbon dioxide. Oh, now it's just one. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with one carbon dioxide in there. Marky in with a gifted sub. This one went to Fractal. Kind dream. Thank you, Marky. Let me see if this can happen. Because it will not be able to push the steam out. Alright, that's there. So I do not need this anymore. Don't need this. If I get lucky and they build the tile where the carbon dioxide is, it'll just go away. And it's gone. Boop! I love it when a plan comes together. Now. I'm gonna need a thermal aqua tuner. Yet another thermal aqua tuner. Say right here. Oh, this is not gonna be enough room for a battery. I guess it will be if I seal it up here. Hmm. All right, let's do that. It'll it'll be fine. We'll see how it works. <laughs> yeah, we need all that scooped up. And then I'm gonna put this here and I'll put the wonderful battery. Oh no, I can't put a battery in here. That's me just not thinking. I can't put a battery in here because of the, uh, I'd have to bring the power line in here. So we'll not be doing that. So I'll just put the battery right here. I'm one of those weird people who think that the 18 movies was worth the time, says Bushman Glenn. <laughs> is that an unpopular opinion? I thought it was all right for what it is. Uh, 86.8. So far, we're holding. Hold! All right, now let me get the shipping in here. Steel. What do we got? 45 kilos? Yeah, that's plenty. Put this over here. Steel. We are running out of ores. That is not great. So what we can do... No, I'm going to do it down here. Mm-hmm. That's where I'm going to do it. And that way...
Yeah, because I'm going to seal it in right here. And then this is will be where the debris chiller is. It's going to be perfect. Oh my goodness, it's going to be perfect. Just plant more ores. <laughs> All right, you're coming down here. You're going to go down like this. Ew, that's disgusting. That looks a little bit better. Does this playthrough have a rule not to use the teleporter? No, we just haven't got there. We just have not got there yet. Uh, plumbing. We're eventually... This is going to be a long series. I warned everybody. I warned everybody. E boop. Brilliant. No, don't pick up that aluminum. That's my... No, I said no. Why are we getting dd dd deets? It's just because of where it is, I suppose. This is going to have to go up like that because we need to get rid of all these. How can we run out of ores when it rains copper? We just haven't seen a lot of copper because you'll notice we only have access to 21 tons of copper ore. Plus, we don't have... Partly what the issue is, we haven't um, fixed all this, right? So there's probably a lot of copper sitting around in places that we can't get to yet. But you notice there's not a lot. Like, here's three kilos. Yay! But we're going to have to tame that space biome soon because we're going to want it. I want it all. Ooh, let's go mop, mop, mop. You know I'm down with the mops. That can go right there. All right. Mm. Let's rummage, inspect, get the data bank. Oh, we didn't get a... We didn't get anything to wear? Oh, because we can't get in there. And then I'm just going to deconstruct all that. All right. Good, 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 good. Now the shipping rails. I'm going to come out. No, 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 no. Do not do it. Do not. You are touching a solid water thing. Oh, no. If I make this out of... Okay, so what I can do is this and this. Otherwise, this is going to be bad really quick. I should have done this the regular way. I always try to do little sneakies. Little sneakies. You know what I can do? Instead of doing all that. Plumbing. Get wrecked. I'll just put some oil down there. You like apples? Uh, I can start doing a low priority. See, I'm starting to get worried about dupes. Where's my dupe labor? Where's the suits? I guess we do have a lot of dupes running around. Look at all of them. They're like little ants. I got ants in my pants. Mm. Shipping. Rails. And we'll go... Like this. Yeah, that looks good. 387,000 food still dropping. I know. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Unless we're just not cooking something. We're getting barbecue. We're cooking gristleberry and barbecue and grub fruit preserve. Like, that should be so much food. And we still got plenty of sucrose. Our little system here hasn't failed. I mean, we could use one more Sweetle, but that's not doing anything. That's just providing our sucrose. You're just losing it to rot? That doesn't make sense, though, because we should be able to maintain more food than that. 
a higher amount of food. Because look at this. I have three refrigerators. I don't know. I'll take the lime. I mean, right now, that's the only explanation. So I am, I am forced to conclude that you are correct. But... I am not 100% convinced. Oh, we got a cool vest. Goodbye. All right, in here, we've got that set up. We got the rail coming through. Now I need some plumbing. It's gonna come in here, go up. Oh, look at the little tiny input. Little graphical bug there. Yippers. This can go like here. Out and then in. So yeah, I need to cool it from here. Uh, I bet I, sh I should probably start using... Oh, I was about to say... I should probably start using the aluminum. Because we don't have any cobalt volcanoes. <laughs> oh. I love me. <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. Let me get some oil, please. Enable that auto bottle. Yeah, there's questions in the chat asking about these small, tiny liquid locks. Um, some people call them soft locks. That is plenty right there. But the long and short of it is nothing can pass. The gas can't pass through this because only one thing can exist in a tile and oxygen not included. So this tile has crude oil. This tile has carbon dioxide. This tile is holding the steam. So it's, it's all rock steady. Wamba lamba then. Alright, so so far so far so good. I wish the power grid would catch up. What's happening right now is because this is started off low and these things never So it's going down a little bit and then coming back up. So it's only charging it like three percent or five percent or twenty-five percent. So it keeps getting the da -da -da -da. very obnoxious. Power. So one little tile is enough. It can be. These can also break easier because see how this is 386 grams. Well, there's a chance if they grabbed like some a thousand degree aluminum and ran it through the little bead, it could flash. So you got to be careful with them. Not bringing anything in or out, that sort of stuff. Drop it like it's hot. All right. We are about ready to seal this thing up because we can fill it from the other side. Oh, other than the fact that it's getting a little warm in here. Oh, that's okay. Oh, oh, oh. Since we have a battery on this, I need to have a thermal sensor here that says, hey, if it's too hot, I don't care what the battery says. You need to activate. Because this steam tur turbine will run when we need it to run, according to the battery. But it'll also run if it gets too hot. That's the way we do this. Kevin says, hey, Queen, sorry to bother. I sent a little whisper, you know, talking nonsense about Echo and how he refused to make a sour gas generator. You know what? Not only will I work you over like a bad habit and oxygen not included, Kevin, I will crush your soul and your spirit in Mario Kart. Ah. 
<laughs> oh. Alright, that's good. So, so far, so good. Um. Squeakers09 with the follow. Thank you, Squeakers. Welcome, welcome to the chaos. Make more tube exits? Um... Yeah? I think that's a good idea. I think that is very reasonable. <laughs> Whee! I don't care! I love it! I think one right through here will be good. Good call, good call! Let's just deconstruct that, and then I'll grab some tubey tubes. Ah, oh, this is gonna be a mess. Let me go through here instead. That way they can still reach everything. We'll drop them like right here. Bloop, bloop, come on. Save. There we go. Squeaker says, I've been part of the chaos for a while. Just a YouTube scrub rather than Twitch. Thank you, Squeakers. I appreciate you stopping by and uh, first time chatter as well. I'm glad you made the trip over. Boop. Perfect ish. Uh, we also have all this to get rid of. There's the Peggy place. Peggy 13. Um, this is the next one, right? We eventually got to get rid of all this. Which is fine. Oh, it's a lot, but this planet is going to be perfect. <laughs> Selkid says, is Echo advertising for KFC? They use that same song in their ads here. <laughs> oh. Also, you know, Echo, if you leave a transport tube that just ends, the dupes use it as a one-way exit. Yes. As long as I think it's two away from the floor, they'll do it. Uh, this. Oh, no, no, no. We're overheating on the turbine already. Do let me get started on this. Is this good in here? I think so. So let's mop that up and get this started. Oop, not yet. <laughs> Kevin says, welcome in. Good to have new friends indeed. He's more fun here. Shh, don't tell him I told you that. Do I need to connect the steam turbine to the power grid? It is. Everything's overheating though. Ugh, what a mess. All right, now I can get working on this really quick. Very simple sort of system. It is just going to go like this and then back in. Then I'm going to use some metal tiles like this. Incoming rage over the oil. Oh! That's not supposed to happen! I thought they fixed that. That's the bottle of shame. That's the bottle of shame. Oh. 
And I forgot the drywall? Okay, okay. We still got a little bit of oil there. I know, I, this is, this is a catastrophe, is what this is, okay? That's all this is, unmitigated catastrophe. See our little bead? <laughs> all right, what do we got? What do we got? We need some obsidian drywall in here. Uh, aluminum is that color, which kind of looks like this color. No, that's pink. It's the color of evil. Uh, cobalt? I don't know. Pastel blue? Pastel blue. Okay, we'll use pastel blue. Uh-oh, we're trapped. Hold on, trap dupe. I gotta finish the drywall. <laughs> and pick this up. Sweep it. No, we can't use the rain print here. Thank you, Queen, for the uh, for the whisper. And by the way, Kevin, you know you can whisper me because I follow you. You can hit a whisper. All right, let me find... Is this it? We got to get the dupes in there. Poke show in the foreman is the foreman, and he's very disappointed. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the trap dupe. Oh, uh, it's just absolute Tina. Uh, this one, no, that wouldn't help. This would, though. Do you have any igneous rock there? You have some granite. Blah, blah, blah. Perfect. Ish. Why is there a diamond in here? 800 kilos worth of diamond? I don't remember bringing that in. The temperature shift plate? We didn't build a temperature shift plate. From before taming? I did ages ago? Oh. Okay. All right, so this is good. All right, now I can seal this up again. The oil is gone. <laughs> All right, so that's going to come in here. That'll go like that. And like this, and then like that. Beautiful, beautiful. And then all we need... I need that steam turbine to be quiet. It's so loud. Boop, boop. Uh, the rails. Cannot forget the rails. It's gonna come out, like, right here. It's gonna go all the way through. Ooh, ew. Like this. And then out. Ooh, wait, it's gotta come out like that. That way more of it stays chilled. Now. I need... How do I want to do this? I could just do it out here. Yeah, let's do it out here. I'm just going to put one conveyor shut off right here. And then one timer sensor. 
And then we're going to go through the math of showing you how you can control this all with a timer sensor. Only letting out so much per cycle, and we'll do the math on that. Where's my thing? Uh. Oh, no, this is not right. That's going to come up. I guess it can go out that way. I like, I've been using this method for the past probably, I don't know, six volcano taming. It's, I like the idea of it because it keeps as much heat in here as possible. Oh no, this was fine. I'm just a silly. Oh yeah, because it, we lose all that cooling. So maybe like this. Oh, perfect. Much better. All right, so it's going to come in here, go up. Nope. Boop. There we go. That's much better. Yeah, batten or even set up down. I need that coolant to... How much is in here? Nine kilos? So that's enough for 27 pipes? 27 pipe segments? Is this more than 27 pipe segments? Yes. Where... Where has all the polluted water gone? Here's a nice big... Big stockpile right here. Beautiful. Builds tubes, proceeds not to connect it. I don't know what you're talking about. What is... He oh, it's the lettuce. The Lord Bucket! Welcome, first time chatter. Sal Kid, I appreciate the work. Weird dreams. Hello, Liz. Kevin's been being mean to me. This definitely was not the other way around. It was it was Kevin. Kevin was mean. You should wax his eyebrows now. <laughs> There's a mod that mutes the building. Ugh, I need it. I did, I, based on the earlier conversation we were having though, I can't add any more mods. I just can't. All right, that's gonna go out there. We're gonna have the timer center. We'll set that in a minute. Ooh, pipe it. I can actually get this going now because we, it is closed up. So, just like this. I think there is a diminishing returns with Mario Kart skill, right? You can only get so good at Mario Kart. Now, I will grant you full. I will concede to the fact that it's been a while since I've played. But... The primary reason why I buy a Switch and a new Nintendo console, it's the Mario Kart. Is this going in? If it's above 25 degrees, let it rip. We'll say 20 degrees. Uh, but the... I think there's a diminishing returns because there's, there's only so much you can do to get get good right after you've sort of perfected drifting and you know the courses I mean just saying let's do a nice temperature shift plate behind that uh, steam turbine that will help considering it's in a carbon dioxide atmosphere 
I have never seen you play a driving game. I know, but I'm an old nerd. You know what I mean? Like, I've always played the driving games. It just doesn't translate to my online community. My about section says I'm a strategy in sim content creator. The battery, battery doesn't really need to be cooled. It'll, um, it'll sort of get cooling from the atmosphere here. Should. The carbon dioxide will probably be a problem, but. Max says, what about Mario Kart enhancing drugs? <laughs> you can be a great carter, then blue shell from downtown. Exactly. Like there's a, there's a sort of give and take. Like when you're behind in the game, I, I wouldn't know about this, but I've seen it from other people who are playing me. Um, they get, there's like catch-up mechanics. All right, that's going to connect into that. Uh, do let me flip this. Oh, yeah, so it's already not running, so it is a perfect loop. There used to be a trick to duck blue shells with a banana. That Rick says blue shells can be stopped. I don't know how to stop a blue shell. All right, this is already at 19 degrees, so we're going to go ahead and finish it off. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to take a look at this volcano. Now, the volcano produces X amount of aluminum. Am I still in stream math? No. It is now time for stream math. Let's clear all this. X amount of aluminum. Basically, we only want, I don't care if this thing is dormant or not, to spit out enough to where it always has one on the rail. And remember, the rails hold 20 kilos each. So the math is as simple as 20 thousand grams which is basically the average output same so instead of saying 20 kilos we're saying 20,000 grams to get the units the same z's and i think it's divided by 371.6 i think that's right basically what this number is telling you is if we released 20 kilos per second or 20 kilos of aluminum every 53 seconds there will always be an aluminum on the rail so now we're just going to say one green 53 it's 53.8 which is kind of higher so we're going to go 54 why not make it loop inside until it's 125 um you can do that too you could, that's this is just an easier way that I have found or I think that I've been enjoying lately because and here's the great thing it's only going to release one packet of aluminum every 53 seconds so in the meantime uh no this has got to be dumped this cooling loop is going to keep these metal tiles cool and this aluminum is going to be sitting in these tiles so it's always going to be down at temp so we'll start off by saying the diamond, just so I can get the rid of the diamond. Oops, metal not insulations. Thank you. Good call. We're also taking it and feeding it up over here. Oh, I'm just sitting there staring at him. Oh, I am my favorite person. I am my favorite person. I am my favorite person. <laughs> Yay, drain the loop. Mm. 
Marquis says, to be pedantic, the 54 seconds should include the one second that it's green to. Yeah, you're right. You are right, so we'll just do 53. That's not being pedantic. That's just being correct. Now it's going to do it again on me. I just play the game in too fast of a mood. And I'm always trying to... Believe it or not, my let's plays are not this chaotic. Because I'm not trying to concentrate on talking to you live. Whereas I can think about what I want to say and then just say it. Alright, let me backwards this up. Alright, still... Alright, so this should be good. So now it's being chilled. And you'll notice the diamond sitter is just falling in temp. Because it's not going to release but once every 54 seconds. Did you set the thermal sensor? Uh, no, but I need to above 200 degrees. Uh, this automation is on 9060. You know what? I'm going to allow this thing to charge. Turn that off and then. Why are you still on? There we go. Now it should just take its power. Stop draining! Above 200. Now charge it. What about the one packet in the installation before shut off? I'll take a look at it. Who knows, yo, would gifting some... S oh, Kevin. Kevin? Kevin! There we go. Get, get full. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate you. Payback is a... Mm-hmm. Now we don't have to deal with this. There we go. Now it's on the loop. All right. So, see, there's our first chunk of diamond. It's a little warm right now because it's the very first chunk. And it looks like we might... What about the one packet, the insulation tile before the shutoff? Um, it doesn't matter. This one packet doesn't matter because the idea is that by the time it gets here, it's going to be cold enough anyways. It's still dropping in temps, though, oddly enough. Probably because it's just diamond. They, it's been sitting here for so long that the temps are going to be fine anyways. In fact, I'm going to... And here's the watch. So this is what you do. I'm going to let all the diamond out. And not care. Right? And then I'm just going to... Reset it. Get all that picked up. Get all this picked up. There we go. Dusk, first time chatter. Thanking Kevin for the gifted sub. Thank you very much. We like it when folks say thank you around here. <laughs> Max says, though, video echo was trying hard to make up for it with OBS audio snafus. <laughs> All right. Uh, good, 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 good. Oh, not again. Come on. Just once? Just one this time. Any day. Do we need more plumbers? We might need more plumbers. That's it. There we go. One tile was enough. Now, this is reset. I can make this thing say aluminum. Or, as our friends across the pond like to say, aluminium. And here's what's great about this system. 
not so right now that it's like 500 600 degrees right you can't count this first loop it's gonna chill out it's here in a second because it's not gonna let it go boop it stops so all the aluminum sitting on these rails is getting the heat taken out of it by the steam turbine and then so it should be down to like you know 200 degrees then they, look at this the aluminum already is down to 75 degrees and once it gets caught up because remember this is really hot because it was not it was not set up but now it's going to be perfect if you disconnect the liquid loop first you can make sure you don't drain the loop skin first time chatter um how do i say that zalgon Bushman Glenn says, there's your message. Yeah, I saw the food um, decay. We, I knew we were losing some food, but I didn't think we were losing that much. Alaric says, I once worked for a manufacturer that has facilities here in the U.S. and overseas, and I've heard the engineers argue about how aluminum is pronounced. <laughs> Anonymous gifter, another five gifted subs. Look at this, aluminum's already down to 57. I'm going to go super turbo, super scion turbo mode. I love this system. I think it's the best of both worlds. It's giving us power to the grid. We have a nearby loop. We now have a power transformer. So when we have other power needs, we can just come right off of it. It's so good. Thank you again, Anonymous. Hugs. Just solid hugs. Crush bones. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Liz says, my dad is an aluminum metallurgist, and he said it's really aluminum. Or probably said really aluminium. But the OG misspelling across the seas sealed their fate. <laughs> what does an aluminum metallurgist do? I need the education. The battery was not reset. Thank you. <laughs> Just keep running. There we go. It's still 200 and something degrees in here. That's the reason why the steam turbine is running. Oh, yeah. Look at this aluminum. It's 20 degree aluminum. 20 degree aluminum. And that's it. And look at the packet all the way down here. This aluminum already is sitting at 20 degrees. Watch, 216. Boom. Smashed that quickly. Why is the battery fluctuating so rapidly? Because I'm in times 10 speed. That's why. This battery, remember, is connected to the main grid. So there's a lot of power usage. We have a lot of thermo aqua tuners on this colony. You might be able to let more packets out at a time. Got Nate. Yeah, but that's not the point. We don't want to. We don't want to because we always want, no matter what. Ideally, there would be zero kilos of aluminum on the floor by the time this thing finished its dormancy period. But even deep into its dormancy period, it's still going to be rotating aluminum around, which is still going to be generating us power and still giving us a constant supply of aluminum. Now, if you ever like, oh, I need a quick, you know, I need a quick uh, pick me up of some aluminum. Yeah, I could go like this and just get keep getting a bunch of packets. But that's not the point of this system, right? This is just giving us a reliable, um, continuous power and, uh, and aluminum. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I like it. Once the steam turbine catches up, because there's a lot of existing heat in here, 
because of this aluminum on the rails. But once it, it finally catches up, it'll, I'll be a little bit more happy too. But right now it's 240 degrees in here. It should stay around 200. Now you could even do one better. Put this whole humpty de bumpity inside of a room and add a uh, power, power, a st where are you silly goose? A power control station right here. In fact, let's do it. Let's do it. Boop, boop. We have all the aluminum that we ever need. Let's go. Um, yeah, metal tiles is going to be fine. Or no, because I don't want to spend the ore. That's why we're going to do this. But I don't want carbon dioxide to always be in there either. So we'll do that there. We'll do it here. No, this one doesn't need it. This one can be a regular pneumatic door. Rockin' Raider said, I finally got the Hermit and immediately named it Echo. Well played. Well played. Heavy Watt Conductive Joint Plate. Mr. Pokeshell needs a new home. Why are you, why are you home shaming Mr. Pokeshell? I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know what that Pokeshell ever did to you or why you're trying to home shame it. Uh, but the Pokeshell likes its home. It doesn't get to eat or anything, but you know. Beautiful stations. The problem with this is I'm only further compounding the fact that right now, these petroleum generators, which are kind of our first line of defense for power, 43% of the time. That's not bad. That is not shabby. Our true first line is these hydrogen generators. We're not going to look at the damage on that gas pump. Not going to do that. That was from this snafu earlier here when the steam turbines were not working. We'll fix that maybe one day. Oh, yes. Infinite dirt. Just beautiful. Do it. Oh, we got some more digging to do down here, too. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Does repair also work through corners? I don't think so, Batner. I think we've tried that before and it it's a no bueno. Uh, let's do some low priority sweeps down here. Suarez, Suarez, Zaiken, have a great night. I appreciate the lurk. Then we're going to turn this on aluminum. Look at this. We have our power plant. And instead of getting 850 watts, we're going to get, what, 1,280? 1,275? So glorious! I love it! And the poke shell has a wonderful home. All right, so what should the picture today be? It could be this... This is pretty sexy. This might bring um, all the viewers to the yard, if you know what I mean. Just like my milkshake. It might. Boop, boop. Alric says it's barely enough for the one aqua tuner. Um... You're talking about the steam turbine? If it's an iron volcano, I'm normally putting three steam turbines. But aluminum, gold, I put one. And then copper and cobalt, I put two. Is the ratio that I have found that works well for me. And eventually this will get caught up. 
You can see we're already down to 215 degrees. It'll spike a little bit um, when this thing erupts again. What makes iron have more turbines? Um, just that volcano. The volcano um, tends to produce more heat. Iron is the way the, the heat lasts, I guess. I can't tell you. Oh, I do have iron. Hold on. Duh. Um, so here's cobalt. Here's iron. I think they just come out hotter. Here's a copper. Here's an aluminum. Here's a gold. All right, so the iron... Specific heat capacity of 449. Thermal conductivity of 55. Notice that everything else has a higher thermal conductivity. So in other words, that iron is holding onto its heat a lot more because it's it's not it's not releasing it as fast into the atmosphere. And so, yeah, so look, we got a spike of 220 down here. Yeah, this thing's going to be this steam turbine's going to stop in just a few cycles. Not stop completely, but not be at 100%. I mean, even in the last five cycles, we're only at 96%. But that could have been me when I was screwing around with the battery, too. Yeah, so I like three steam turb... Why aren't they using this yet? Oh, well, now it's fixed. <laughs> And I can also do some of this action. Uh, let's go, what, here? Uh-oh. I don't think, I think that's too many. Seven? Yep, this is it. This is it! Ba, 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 ba! I do like some Huey Lewis in the news. Does that date me? Probably not. Probably just makes me an old soul. That's it. Just an old soul. Bop, bop. Now are they using it? Let me hear the thump. I guess they're too busy over here. They're not doing enough over here right now. Trapped? Oh, you're not going to be trapped. You're going to be just fine. Yeah, let's check where the temp's here. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, no. This is... Oh, no. Oh. Where did that water come from? Oh, no. Oops. It's fine. That oil level will eventually raise and we'll be able to mop it. I'm sure I won't miss it. I'm sure. Oh, look at our petroleum boiler. Pretty much running flat out. What do we have it set on? 10 kilos. And it just works. Ooh, I think I can get another couple of tiles in there. That's only at 350. I want it a little warmer. Because the, the warmer you make this, the closer in the temps you get it, the less power you need to pull off of this. Oh, what a mess. I don't know. Yes. That's a little better. We'll let that run for a couple hundred cycles. See how that goes. Still got a vacuum in here. Can we mop more, please? I should put a pump right down here.
And that way it just pumps everything up when we do inevitably drop liquids here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What did I just deconstruct? Petroleum. And power. <laughs> Oops. Mini liquid pump. Absolutely. Oh, I could lower the floor by one, too. Oh, that's a fair point. I like that. Then I could use a, a big pump. And I like big pumps. Can't lie about that. That can come out. That can go over here. Uh, wait a minute. The big pump's going to be on the wrong side, though, isn't it? And you can't flip them. So it's still going to be little pump. And I don't feel like doing the bridge and all that nonsensical stuff. Here we go. Power is just fine. Too many pumps? Eh, one penny bump is going to be fine because normally when they drop, they normally drop just a little bit. Just a little bit. And for now, I guess we'll put it right here. I mean, that seems okay. Whoop. Yes, there we go. And I'll keep mopping this for now, but that should that should help a little bit. Now, where were we? Boop. Perfect. Ish. Oh, no. All that water is going to drop. You know what? No one's going in here right now. No one's going in here. Uh, okay, they can still get out. <laughs> Till we get all this water picked up. What are we going to do with these giant boulders, chat? Do I just send rails through them? To cool everything off? I mean, that's a pain. I don't know. I don't think I've ever dealt with these boulders like this on a mass basis. How are we doing down here? 220? Oh yeah, and that's at the top of the eruption. Lazy Brain has just discovered a quicker way to vacuum an area than tile than floor tiles. Carpet the area in airlock doors all at once. Once it's all built, everyone leaves. It's a vacuum, and then you can just delete the doors. Yeah, but unfortunately, in situations like this, you can't put doors. So that kind of stinks. But if it's a big blank area, yeah, that's a pretty good one. I like it. Make a steam room on top and then dig in. I like that, Killer Dove. I like it a lot. Can I mop this yet? No. You're no fun. Fours. There we go. Oh my goodness, we're down to 148 tons of igneous rock? Oh, because of all of our igneous rock is in here. So we don't have access to it. That's all that is. Look at that. Remember that polluted water? Or polluted oxygen up there? It's gone. This one up here? About to be gone. Eventually, when we let our dupes back in there. Oh, this stuff up here? Don't worry about this. Gone. 
Guess what I'm gonna say. Guess. Gone. Of course, I can't get up there. <laughs> I am Killer Dove says, it is what I would do. A lazy to do big brain advanced solution. <laughs> I like it. It's it's that's some of the beautiful most beautiful solutions. Simple, easy. Still got 200 degrees in here. The steam turbines aren't even on. That's glorious. This, on the other hand, not glorious. Uh, yeah. I'm debating. Yeah, let's get rid of all this. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Do not get rid of that until I s submit my bioscan. Goodness knows you can't get rid of it until you submit the bioscan. There we go. Hey, oop. A little bit in here. All right, so what's the picture today? Did we already talk about this? We probably did, and I just failed. <laughs> Alaric says, All that natural gas resembles my place after a weekend of eating mom's Polish food. Is Polish food gassy? Is that a known, like a, a common thing? I wouldn't have known that. Uh, let's go right down here. Not sandstone. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, yeah that'll be enough. Can you explain the door crusher automation? Says, wait, I'm sexy. Yes. Uh, except I'm going to explain it without this section. Don't even look at this section, okay? We'll start off with just this section. This gas element sensor is looking for steam. If it... But with the not gate means it's looking for anything but steam. When it finds anything but steam and sees it for longer than five seconds, because we have the filter here, It then goes to this door. Don't worry about this end gate yet either. We also have a, then we have a buffer gate set on five seconds that connects the next three doors. So what that system by itself means is the doors are gonna open and then this door is gonna shut. And then five seconds later, these three doors are gonna shut. I added this timer sensor because I didn't want it to do it too much. So now it only does that automation once every, what do we got? Three quarters of the time is sort of the reason for it. You pro I probably could even get rid of this now that I have this. This is probably duplicative. But that was originally there. This one I put into place to, let me show you this. This side is going to overwrite. Because remember, green overwrites red. So when this thing says, I don't care what's in this tile. I want you to crush souls anyways. That's what this side does. So 5% five, five of a cycle, every 10 cycles, it's going to do it. I know, but I don't know what picture to take. That's why I keep asking. Yes, it, I got it backwards. It opens the door for 10 seconds out of every 30. But only when this one doesn't see it. See? Boom. And then shuts. This fires, shuts. And you can tell we just produced a lot of carbon dioxide. Hence the reason now it's starting to run.
Bunkin's wondering about the aluminum uh, tamer. You mean this perfect little system right here? Chef's kiss. The tune-up dupe's gonna be bashed by the poke shell. Hold on. We're gonna move the poke shell up here. <laughs> For the picture, um, you think this will bring more, more viewers to the yard? Damn right. Than our water system? Yeah, probably. Probably. Um, I do want to mop this up though, just to get rid of. That water. And we'll get rid of this. No, I'm not going to get rid of that. Because we might need that polluted water one day. Whoop. Now who is Poke Shell house shaming? <laughs> oh... Ellie came back from the condo inspection to so much craziness. Uh, Ellie, how'd it go? I hope uh, everything went well. All right, you know what to do, chat. You know what to do. Bloop. Let's go with... Uh Three, two, one, Parmesan! Boom. Perfect. Ish. Ish. <laughs> Elden Ring cheese. <laughs> Oh, you're confusing it with the last game that you played thing. We have too many things. Sour cream? <laughs> no, the games are for when we're doing the roll call. But I need... I, I gotta flip it up because people will get bored of that. I actually like the game thing, though, because people always play different games. How many times have I saved this? I don't know. I don't know. It's Nick's birthday? Why didn't Nick say anything when they were in here? We would have done the whole birthday thing. I didn't know. Who knows, Joe had a, a birthday buddy as well. But we have known Nick a very long time, so we'll definitely show Nick some love. He's doing a birthday stream. Oh, that's amazing. Chat, I had a great time. Uh, don't you leave, okay? We're getting ready to do the raid. So don't just be running away and doing all things willy-nilly. Give me another minute. Okay, and then, and then we'll go stretch our legs. I'll go get some of the foods because I'm hungry. Uh, I'm doing some recording on Monday and Tuesday. I'm hoping to get three episodes recorded this week. But I keep saying that and then it ends up only being two. So, uh, Ed, I just got here. Start over, please. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'm hoping to get those videos out. So you'll probably see the first one Tuesday. Maybe, depending on how the farm colony is doing. Yeah, then we'll be back on Wednesday for our normal Ani stream. And then Friday again for some uh, free play Friday. This week, I promised myself that I'm going to find some more games that I want to play in my off time. Because I still, it's been weeks long, week long, trying to find a game. Sam Squat says squeakers. <laughs> I can tell Weazar isn't here. He wouldn't have let Echo get away with, without drywalling the turbine room. I do need to drywall the turbine room. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. <laughs> Kevin says, roll call. Let me set this up. 
The only thing, I like the new raid tool. Okay, the new raid tool is kind of cool. But you have to, it shows, it gives you random suggestions. Instead of just showing me the people I follow. I don't know how I feel about that. All right. The raid is up. Now the raid's up. So get in there. Make sure everybody wishes um, Live Action Pixel, a.k.a. Nick, a happy, happy birthday. Oh, good. They're playing Nightingale, too. I've been wanting to look at more Nightingale. Yeah. All right. The credits are not updated because it's been a full week since we've recorded a video. So um, you should see some updated credits here in a couple of days. Thank you all so, so much for the stream um, and the chat. Thank you to the mods for giving us a great uh, experience. So until next time, much love, happy gaming, and I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.